All right. I'm ready. I'm ready already. How about that? I was ready to go when it was ready to go. Okay. I'm a couple minutes late. I get it. I'm a, I'm a few minutes late. It happens. It happens. I'm still moderating, you know, do, doing that thing. But I'm here now. I'm here. I've already got whiskey poured. It's in my Glen. It's right here. It's ready to roll. I'm going to say hi to people. We're going to get this started. We're going to open up a new bottle of whiskey tonight. I'm looking forward to trying this new Cedar Ridge barrel proof. Kind of kind of excited about that. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. We're going to get to it soon. Let's see who's here. Mike Franklin's here for sure. What's up, Mike? Good to see you. Cheers to you, buddy. My first sip of whiskey tonight. And yes, it's wild turkey. Um, slap shots here, but he's not here because he had to go to bed. Good to see you, Brian. I'll catch up with you. You did give me a cheer, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sip in your absence. So this one's for you, buddy. Here we go. Tommy D's here. He said good night to Brian. John T's here. What's up, John? Cheers to you, buddy. Got Mark Emenecker here with another one. What? Oh, he's having barrel vantage. That's what I want to know. Tell me what you're drinking. That's what I'm talking about right there. Barrel vantage. I still haven't had it. Still haven't had it. It's local to me right now at the Costco. I can get it for a pretty good price. I keep thinking I'm going to go get it, and then I go buy other whiskey. It happens all the time, but I, I'll probably end up getting that before it's going. Mark, good to see you. Cheers to you, buddy. Cheers to Scott as well, and let me go ahead and get Tanner. What's up, Tanner? Good to see you, buddy. Cheers to you, fellas. All right, and T-Rob is sipping on a Bardstown Origin. You know, I opened those a couple weeks ago on my stream, and they didn't go very well for me. I might try them both again tonight and give them a, a second shot. Apparently, I'd eaten some spicier food that day, and it kind of blew my palate out, and I wasn't getting everything I needed to. I have sipped on both of them since and liked them better. So maybe I'll drink some of those later tonight after we get through some of the other stuff I'm going to drink. Tim, good to see you. Cheers to you, buddy. Got Doug H. in the house giving a cheers to everybody. Good to see you, Doug. Cheers to you, buddy. I got to take it slow, if you know what I mean. Let's see who else is here. We got Cole is here. There's Tommy. Tommy's drinking a uh, Buffalo Trace store pick. And we got Gordo here. Cheers to all three of you guys. I'm drinking uh, Wild Turkey 81 Proof from a few years back. Got Paladonis in the house. What's up, Sean? Good to see you. Cheers, Cheech, and cheers all. Right back at you. Hey, everybody, if you haven't hit the thumbs up yet, do that. we got 35 people hanging out here. The Bourbon Junkies are over. They posted the link. Maybe we'll get a few more people over here. Hit that like. It lets people know I'm on right now. One Dub's in the house. What's going on, buddy? Cheers, Cheech. Been a bit drinking a Four Roses. That's going to be a 4R because he said it later. Uh, O-E-S-O. That's one of the ones I like. I love the Four, the four Roses O-E-S-O. And cheers right back to you. Good to see you again. Dano got me with the cheers and a good night. All right, Dano, I know you got to work in the morning, buddy. I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Uh, we'll continue that conversation we were having earlier via the text messaging, and uh, we'll figure out when we can go for a little ride and go do some hurting on some whiskey hunting, if you know what I'm talking about. Good to see you, Dano. All right, let's see who else is here. Don Farmer's here. Nice intro, Cheech. Thanks, buddy. I did that myself. Appreciate that. Oh, and I get a cheers. Here, I get a cheers. Right back at you, Don. Cheers to you. We got Chris Ludig in the house. What's up, Four Gate Chris? Look at this beautiful man. Cheers, cheats. Let's go. We're going, and I don't know if I'm beautiful, but I'm, I'm at least pretty, right? <laughs> Four Gate Chris, good to see you, buddy. Always good to see you. You said cheers, cheats, so you got one from me. And there's Gary. Gary's here. What's up, Gary? Well, who? I, I got you with one of those. I got Eric Isaacson in the house with the cheers. And who else? We got William Hall here. He says, what the hell? Why am I not getting notices? Gotta hit that bell notification, buddy. Glad I clicked over to the Bourbon Junkies or would have missed it. Uh, every Tuesday after the Bourbon Junkies, like clockwork. I think I've missed two in the last year and a half where I didn't do a Tuesday after the Bourbon Junkies. But uh, good to see you, William. Good to see you, Eric. Good to see you, Gary Franchi. Cheers to you, fellas. There we go. There we go. We got ASMR whiskey in the house. What's up, Andrew? Good to see you. Cheers, Cheech and Cheech fans around the world. Hey, I got some copy for you, buddy. I just need to send it to you. I got like... I think it's like six or seven different things. Maybe I'll add one or two more to it, but I'm going to send that your way maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. I'll be at home doing some work tomorrow, getting some things out for people. Uh, mostly patrons, major, mostly patron stuff happening. Joe Dick Dickinson's here. What's up, Joe? Good to see you. Cheers to you. Good to see you again. Uh, got William Hall is drinking the Redwood Pipe Dream and Stranahan's Blue Peak. Not together, I hope. I hope you didn't mix those. I can't speak to the Stranahan's Blue Peak because I've never had that, but I've had Pipe Dream and 
I like Pipe Dream. I heard the cast strength Pipe Dream is pretty awesome, but I have not gotten that one yet. I'm hoping to. Uh, of the regular offerings, I'm a Emerald Giant kind of fan and the Lost Monarch. But the Pipe Dream's good. Good. It's definitely different. It's a solid bottle for 30 bucks, that's for sure. All right. Mike Franklin cracked a Calumet 15 earlier drinking water now. Okay. Well, that Calumet 15 just popped up around me again. Like it's uh, readily available. 14, 15, and 16 are all on the shelf around me again. I don't have a 15. I have a 14. I have a 16. Uh, I didn't buy the 15 because it was a little too cherry forward to, for me when I first tried it. But I'm willing to try it again. I'll, I'll give it another shot if you know what I'm saying. Try the rye. It's great. Try the rye. Which rye? Which rye? Which rye? Which rye? I'm sorry. Did I miss something? I don't think I missed something. All right. Let's see. Okay, what are we sipping? Water right now, filling out work paperwork, tossing some stuff in the car for travel tomorrow, then some Evan Williams bottled bun, I think. There you go. That sounds good, Sean. I saw your pictures from the road where you got a little bit of iced in, snowed in, couldn't make it to your next job. That sucks. That sucks. But it's better than driving in it, right? Hey, Art Sanchez is here. I haven't seen you in a while. Art, how you been, buddy? Good to see you too, man. Cheers to you. Good to see you. Always good to see you. I just saw, let's see. Okay, let's see. Did I just see Bev Porter in the house? Hello, Mama Porter. How are you? I get it. You got to go to bed, but thank you so much. Thanks for stopping by, Bev. Cheers to you. Always cheers to you. I'll see you Friday night on uh, ADHD Whiskey. That'd be my guess for the Matt Madness round, which is going to be crazy this week because the bourbon junkies are on. Cheers to you, Bev. Who else is here? Hey, Miracle Martinez is in the house. Hey, Miracle. Good to see you. Cheers to you. Let's see, Tim Evans is here with a simple cheers right back at you, Tim. How was that hockey game the other night? I saw your pictures. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Hey, Tim Tam Slams, and that's what's up, Tim. Good to see you again. Cheers, Cheech, and all. Cheers right back at you, Tim. Hey, I don't. I didn't go back to that conversation we were having on Discord. Did, did, did you make a decision? <laughs> I just want to know if you made a decision. And if I helped or hurt your decision-making, uh, you know, I can't tell people what to do with their money. If it was my money, I'd probably be a yes on that, but I haven't been faced with that that chance yet. If I get faced with that, then maybe. Okay, the Bardstown Origin ride. I haven't seen that yet, Don. So I picked up the the bottled and bond and then the bourbon, uh, the the weeder and the bottle. Let me see. Where are they at? The Origin straight bourbon whiskey, the white label, and the black label. I picked it up, but they didn't have the rye available. I would have picked up the rye. I'm really interested in the rye. As soon as I see it, I will give it a try. Just have not seen it yet. If you've had it, tell me about it. I want to know. I want to know. All right, let's see who else is here. Hey, who flung dung's in the house? What's up, buddy? Cheers, teaching all. Got some Blood Oath Pack 1 to start the evening. There you go. That's going back. That's a time machine bottle at this point. How long ago was Blood Oath Pack 1? Pack 8 was last year, so... Have you really had that for seven years? Have you? Have you? Sounds good. I, I've only owned the pack eight and I've never owned any of the other ones, but I'd like to, if you know what I'm saying. Hey, John's here. What's up? Giannini Jr. in the house with a $5 super sticker. I have to go over to the YouTube chat to see what the sticker was. Keep it up. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. It doesn't show on the on the stream yard. Got 45 people hanging out. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Appreciate it. We're just getting started. Just getting it. Send the copy over. I plan on it. I got a couple more things I want to add to it, and then I'm sending it your way. Probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow be my guess. I'll be sitting at my desk a lot tomorrow and doing a lot of work. Okay, yeah. Origin Rye. Yeah, I would like to know as well, Mark. I would like to know. Let's see. Make sure I didn't miss anybody. Hey, Lee's here. What's up, Bourbon Baller? Cheers to you, buddy. And Tater Dom's here. Cheers to you as well. All right, and John had a message for me. Cheers, Cheech. Been a little bit since I've... I've been on as well. Joseph Magnus Garblin Poor right now. Many more later. Hope for a great night. I'm having a pretty good night. I've had, had a pretty good week. Going to have a pretty good night. Uh, which batch cigar blend? I just need to know what batch you're having, John, because people want to know. People want to know what batch you're having. That's important when it comes to the cigar blends. I'm almost cut up with chat. How about that? Let me let me fall behind here for a second. And I'm going to do that thing where I pin the link to the chat for people who want to come ha hang out. I'm sure there's a couple of you. And we'll hang out. We'll drink whiskey. We'll talk about whiskey and we'll have a good time. All right. I did I did my duty. My duty is to pin that link to the top of the chat. And we've done that. 
Let's see. Be sure to hit that like. Yeah, if you haven't hit the like yet, do that. Just get it out of the way. It helps people know the channel's on right now. It really helps any channel that you're watching. If you're watching them, hit the hit the like button. And if you don't like them, hit the the dislike button. But don't hit the dislike button for my channel. That's that's not allowed. Just the up 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 like up like that one. If you know what I'm saying. All right. All right. So Tim says the rye is here and now and it's solid. So we just got the origin, the the bottled and bond, the white label and the black label. Let's just call it white label, black label. Um, we just got those like three weeks ago. Apparently we're, we're slow to get those bars towns, but I'm hoping I was hoping to see the rye. I actually went on a little road trip last week, did a little hunting, did not see the rye. So I'm hoping maybe over the next couple of weeks that shows up. And when it does, I'm, I'm going to grab it because that's the one I'm probably the most interested in it, believe it or not. But I like rye. So thanks, Art. Appreciate that, man. We're, 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 we're just the community side of things, you know, where everybody who watches everything else gets together and we hang out and we talk whiskey and we drink whiskey and, you know, just enjoy each other's company. Hold on. I see somebody in the background. Sorry, sorry Tommy. I had some bottles in the way. Let me go ahead and bring Tommy on here. Tommy, you ready? All right, Tommy's got mood lighting. Look at you, buddy. You look like you, look, you got a, you got a gaming stream. I need got, a new camera. You do need a new camera. Well, you need some front light, is what you need. Yeah, I just turned it off. But yeah, I thought, well, the, I thought the TV might do too much. No, no, not at all. Not at all. Back up. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna get Tommy looking good one day. I mean, he looks great. We're gonna get his stream looking. Good. Oh, now he looks cold. <laughs> it's a blue light. It is a blue light special with Tommy. There you go. You know, What's food. up, Tommy? How are you, buddy? I'm good. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a couple weeks, hasn't it? Something like that. Feels like it. <laughs> Feels like yeah, it you, to me. you you got kind of worn out there at the end of March, so you didn't really come on. Uh, here's the thing: is I did I wasn't able to do Patreon stream last week, and I wasn't able to do it last night. So I'm doing a Patreon stream tomorrow night, which is kind of apropos because one of the bottles I'm going to be giving away to my patrons uh, is the bottle I'm going to open up tonight. So as you can see, I've got one oh, over my proof? shoulder. And this is the barrel proof Cedar Ridge that just came out. It is batch number 0001. So they're planning on putting out thousands of these apparently. But I don't know if it's going to be like a, a few times Where a year. Did you get that from local? Uh, this was a seal box thing. So okay. I, I ordered them from seal box when they dropped. But we'll talk about that in a second. But that's one of the bottles that's going to be given away tomorrow night on my patron only stream. And if you're interested in checking out the Patreon, the link is in the description box below this video. I do at least one bottle giveaway every month. That, that's where we are on that. So that's it. Tommy, your picture looks much better with that light on, just so you know. Yeah, I just realized that. Yeah, so much better. Well, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a $12 camera, so. Okay, well, you're getting your money's worth out of it. I am. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Mike Franklin. I've been, been looking at new ones. And Mr. I'm just Freeze. Like, you know, I'm worried about the autofocus kind of thing. Do you want to spend yet. money or you don't want to spend money? Uh, I'm willing to spend up to like 150 bucks. Okay, you're going to be still in the webcam world. Yes, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not buying a separate little thingy. Okay. Well, that needs right. its own separate lensy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just saying. I, yeah. I mean, I can recommend something if you did. Well, <laughs> I can't recommend. The price range uh, of that? Yeah, there's a, uh, I think Logitech books out a pretty nice high resolution webcam. Yeah, I've been looking at those. Yeah, that, that, that's probably the route to go at 150 bucks. I've got a few um, Amazon credit card points to use, so I'm waiting for that to drop. Like tomorrow. Okay. So, anyway. All right, so William Hall said something. Oh, hold on, it jumped. William Hall said something about you getting bar lights or a ring light or whatever. They got to see your face and particularly your beard. Can't say you're wrong there, William Hall. All right, there we go. Giannini says he is drinking a batch 127 on the cigar blend. I have a 120 open. I would imagine the 120 and the 127s are pretty similar. Uh, those are mostly Barton juice in those blends with a little bit of uh, with a little bit of MGP in them. All right, we got a couple more people hanging out in the background. I'll get to you guys in just a second. <laughs> hey, problem with this, I've got a little what? light on my uh, camera. The only problem with that is it just it blinds me. Yeah, yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. So I learned that before I live stream to go ahead and turn on all the bright lights for like a half an hour before I hit go. So I have time to adjust to it instead of like the deer in the headlight thing where you turn it on and then all of a sudden everything's blinding. Yeah. But 
I, I'm kind of used to bright lights. We need to get a few more people in here because this is way too big of a picture. Of okay, let's do that right now. Let's go ahead and bring on T Rob and we'll bring on Mark <laughs> Evanecker as well. What's up, fellas? Cheers, up, guys. guys. Cheers, guys. All right, let's find out what you gentlemen are drinking. Let's start with Tommy D. What are you drinking, Tommy? I'm still drinking that Buffalo Trace store pick from uh, uh, South Boy, Wisconsin. And how is it good? That's all right. Okay, it's all right. All right. Yep. Mark, Mark, what are you drinking on? There you go. He's got the barrel vantage. Barrel that, there you go. Yeah. Do you know which batch that is? Uh, <laughs> can you read? Do they have them on there? <laughs> yeah, it's another one of those things where they hide read it. That hand there, Doc? <laughs> Numero uno. Numero uno. There we go. There we go. There Numero go. uno. All right. It's a tiny spot, just like the seagrass. Yeah, just like there's the no seagrass. grass to hide in on this one. That's right. right. It's just there. And T Rob, what do you got? I've got the uh, Barstown Urge and Habra. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try that again tonight after I try this. Uh, I keep looking for the bourbon, the uh, or bottle and bond, and we did. I can't find it. Everything's oh, the black, out. the black label. Yeah, yeah I don't know. The, the high rod you can find everywhere. But. Yeah. All right, let me go back to the chat real quick because I got a couple super chats. Thank you, Art Sanchez. I don't think he said anything in his chat. He just gave me twenty bucks. Thanks, hey. Art. <laughs> if you want to say something and <laughs> highlight it, you can just add the whiskey oh, encore, and I'll go. see that. But Art, I appreciate that so much, buddy. You have no idea. That really helps out. It helps me pay for all this whiskey. Not really. doesn't even come close. <laughs> it doesn't even come close. It's true. It's true. It's all right. Fats Waves here. What's up, buddy? Cheers, Cheech. Having some Eagle Rare, too, after a two-week hiatus with some antibiotics. Well, hopefully you're feeling better. I mean, you're feeling better if you're drinking whiskey. Uh, hopefully things are going well for you down there in the Keys. It's a beautiful time of the year to be in, uh, in the Keys right now. That's right. It's kind of nice here anywhere in florida to be honest with you it was, a, it was nice here today it was about 80 degrees uh i went to yeah i went to yeah, the beach today. i'm getting i'm starting to get my summer tan on going uh, on yeah. you know what i'm saying <laughs> all right mark mark who's also on the screen says in chat that he likes the vantage better better than the origin you think hemp blinding them and it's a better proof okay yeah that oh, yeah, 114 yeah. proof yep yeah, i can see that mark you can see that. Hey, Troy Man's here. What's up, buddy? Good to see you, Troy. Cheers, I keep all. seeing it in the store, but I Troy? haven't pulled the trigger on one yet. <clears throat> What's that? The Vantage? Yeah, yeah the Vantage. Yeah. It's sixty-six dollars at the local uh, Costco to me right it's now. So I'm eighty-eight here. Yeah, so, so I might yeah. go grab it at sixty-six yeah. bucks. What, what's so special about it? It's nothing is I mean, barrel does a whole bunch of weird shit. Anyway. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's that's got a bunch of whiskeys. It's three different oak finishes. It's Mizanora, French, and American toasted yeah, oak. Yeah, okay, but is it one a, bourbon or whatever? It's a blend. No, it's a blend. No, every Indiana, one of, yeah, Kentucky, he, and Tennessee. I was going to say each of the whiskeys. Like no, it's no, no, it's all bourbon. It's all yeah. bourbon. Yeah, but it's three different wood finish, finish bourbons yeah. blended together. Isn't there like a, a cast strength yeah. version of that that's like four hundred dollars or something like that? Or what what, mm. what is there's a barrel that's I know high proof that's uh that one's uh how do you how do you put this nicely? Seagrass. That one's bullshit, Tommy. That's what that one is. <laughs> no, that I one just, uh, no, I just but I bullshit. thought yeah, I thought they did a regular and then they came out with a cast strength. No, thing. no, that's that the was... uh the seagrass they did that on. They get the seagrass sixteen. There's a, yeah. there's also like two hundred fifty dollars of finished ones but not yeah seamless. yeah i don't think it's called the i don't know what I don't, I don't have the junkies pick a barrel i won't buy any because <laughs> they're so different and weird and, yeah they, uh, they here's the thing is they're all different you know yeah. you gotta i have to be told by somebody that hey this is a good one or get a sample and i go okay that's good enough yeah. for me to buy one i but remember a couple years when it what you know one one of their bourbons won you know a big award yeah know. I would not look for it. I couldn't find it. I could find yeah, it, it was a single after. barrel. You know, yeah. there's probably a couple hundred bottles. It was a single barrel. Yeah. Yeah. But hey, Don Farmer it. gave me another super chat. Thanks, buddy. Awesome. Let's see. He said, appreciate what you do, Cheech. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that too, Don. So much. Uh, I just do what I do. I hang out. I, I moderate a lot. <laughs> and then I drink some whiskey and hang out and talk to people there who like go. to drink whiskey. That's basically it. Hey, there's Frank C. I saw him over at the Junkies tonight. Can have a whiskey again. I can have Good whiskey again. So cheers. Hey, yeah, Frank. Yeah, man. Welcome, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. <laughs> cheers to that. I'll drink to that. And I'm about ready to crack open the Cedar Ridge here in a minute. I've been looking yeah, for it. I've had it for a week, which is driving yeah. me crazy. Uh, I've been Chris to see it was supposed to show up last Tuesday and it didn't. It showed up Wednesday, so I didn't get to open it last week. And I was like, damn it. I really wanted to open <clears> that on my stream last week. But but we didn't. Let's see who else is here. I don't want to miss anybody and then I crack that open. I know Scott had tried it last week. He said he liked it. All right. Uh oh. Frank C says that it's 40th birthday this month. Any suggestion? What you tell your wife that you want? Um, 
I don't know your palate and I don't know your budget. That that's that's that would determine a lot, uh, yeah. Frank. If if you got fifty dollars to spend, my 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 suggestion would be different if you had a hundred dollars to spend. And if you had two hundred dollars to spend, it'd be another whole different thing. I'm gonna go ahead and crack open this cedar ridge. I already started pulling a little tabby thing while I was talking to Frank there. So <laughs> know, knowing the budget, now it's hard to tell for you to know what your wife's gonna spend on your present. But if it's an open book present, as I like to call it, like you get to talk about it and decide, find out what the budget is. And then we could probably make some better suggestions based on that. But in the $50 range, I don't know. What's that 10 cup 14 are going for? Is that around 50 bucks, 15, 50 or 60? That's, that's 10 years, 50 around here. Okay. So maybe it's, here. yeah, maybe, maybe it's like $60. Yeah. There's the 10 years, not bad too. No, the 10 years, like 35 around here. All right. Let me open the Cedar Ridge. There we go. Oh, I love synthetic corks and a clean glen. Let's pour a little of this. I'm very excited about this. So, so this is a, a small batch, but it's at barrel proof and their barrel proof is 116 proof. So I don't know how accurate that is. We'll talk, we'll talk about it here in a minute. I got some information. There we go. Good glug. Yeah. It's got a nice little gluggy bottle. So it's a, <laughs> they bow out like that a little bit. So, so Don Farmer is married to a high school classmate <laughs> <He> what <laughs> we're just discovering that don farmer is married to a, a high school classmate of mine oh wow i didn't know don was so old <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're yeah. married up let's just say married up. there you go <laughs> right, i'm gonna go back yeah, to the chat real quick because that's funny that's funny hey mojo's here what's uh, up buddy what's up mojo good to see you bro good to see you always all right, Dovetail was hyped up as Ultra Aged and a gray label as well. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not going to. Any of that line. gray label stuff is yeah. way up there. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing. There's, they put out so much stuff, it's hard to keep up with it. Their label game sucks. Oh, yeah. Because nothing is different enough for you to, to get your attention and go, oh, this is the special one. Oh, they do put some stuff in cardboard boxes. I forgot about that. And then they charge Which like evidently an fall apart too easily. Yeah, they just drop out. out the bottom. If you get a little <laughs> yeah. Bit. yeah, you get easy way to drop your whiskey. Hey, Great. teal dragons here. What's up, buddy? Sipping on some Irish whiskey. Okay, some two stacks. That's not so bad. I'm gonna cheers you, but I'm not gonna cheers you with this Cedar Ridge yet. I'm gonna cheers you with my cheers on whiskey. What was teal your dragon, good to see you, buddy. Then? All right, let me drink a little bit of water. We'll do that. All right, picked we'll up an old up number seven. <laughs> What do you guys think? Is it the the new one, the old Ezra Seven Rye, or the regular old Ezra Seven? I like the regular old Ezra Seven. I do too. It's not great, but it's solid. It's a, it's a solid whiskey. It's not going to win any contest that I can think of, but it's pretty good. I did like the rye. The rye is like a blend of two different ryes. I think. I think the rye is like a high rye, like a ninety-five-five mixed with a barely legal rye, and that one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. If you're not talking about the rye, the regular Ezra 7's solid. Yeah. All right. I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. And then I'm going to sniff this thing. What was your right. cheers in whiskey? I missed that part. Uh, it's always the, uh, it's this one. The wild turkey. The wild turkey. turkey the 81. 81. Yeah. yeah. This one. Yeah, you ain't gonna cool. have too many more on that. Well, one. I wasn't gonna have too many more, and then my good oh. friend Bar Barry for my birthday yeah. sent me this. Oh, wow! <laughs> so I got another seven fifty of it. There so it'll be my cheers and whiskey for a while to come. Awesome, if you know what I'm saying. But I got a, I got other whiskeys I can cheers with. But that's the one. all right. So Frank C said that the budget is around a hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, not knowing your flavor profile in the hundred dollar range, that puts a lot of things in, in play though. It puts a lot of like the Elijah Craig barrel proof stuffs in play for less. Um, the larceny barrel proofs, uh, going out onto something off charted, maybe the, the Dixon Deadman stuff, the two O X O. So you got the Phoenix and now the innkeepers blend that's out. That's another hundred dollar bottle of whiskey. Those are good hundred dollar bottles of whiskey. I'll take anybody else's suggestion here. Anybody else got a suggestion in the hundred dollar range? You can get a Blanton's. No, you can find no. a Remus six. Oh yeah, if you can find a Remus, a Remus six would be good for a hundred bucks. I think they're about one nineteen around me, but for you, could, I've seen places get them. For, some people get them for like ninety. Tommy, yeah, yeah. yeah, the one I got was eighty nine. Yeah, yeah. 
That gets you, can you get there. a 1920 for less than that. Oh, yeah. You can get an old Forester oh, yeah. 1920 solid. So I, gotta, I have to look around. Have to PCB look around. Possibly for uh, early Yeah, I was thinking any of the Elijah Craig barrel proofs were pretty good in that price range. I'll tell you what, this one is a good one for $90. Oh, Redemption yeah. Redemption nine year. Yep, nine year bourbon. That one's good. Um, what else? What else? You fellas? can find a single barrel EH Taylor. Or? Yeah, EH e. Taylor single oh, barrel. Yeah. If you can find it, that's solid. For a hundred uh, bucks? Yeah. Bullshit. I got a pile of them behind me, Tommy. You want to see the price on my just, barrel proof? Yeah. How long have you had those? I get them every couple months or so. <laughs> <laughs> I drink I figured, those. those. I figure you're paying, Tommy. You can't get them around here, but I can get them in North Carolina. So. I gave one away to my patrons. Small batch anymore. Yeah, I have. <laughs> yeah, I, I have. I'm, I'm, not away. I'm not talking about it. There's sure a sea monkey or something in my water. whiskey. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> I have no idea hey, where that came hey, from. Hey, Mr. Jiggs is here. What's up, Mr. Jiggs? Good to see you, buddy. Cheers to you. Okay, That's I'm going to cheers you with my cheers and whiskey, and then I'm going to sniff and talk about the Cedar Ridge real quick. Cheers, Mr. Jiggs. All right, so here's what I know about the Cedar Ridge whiskey, and I'm going to tell you what I know based on what was printed on the Sealbox <laughs> website, is that this a mash bill of 741412. That's corn, malted rye, and two-row malted barley. So 74% corn, 14% malted rye, and two-row, and 12% two-row malted barley, and is bottled at 116 proof. Here's a little bit about Cedar Ridge. Iowa's first and largest whiskey producing distillery and one of the nation's original craft distilleries, Cedar Ridge Whiskey is authentic by nature. From their Iowa home surrounded by the world's most fertile ground, their craft honors the hardworking people of the Midwest. Each batch takes on character of Iowa's people, land, and climate. And it's evident in every glass handcrafted, handcrafted whiskey they make. Blah, blah, blah. Farm to table made with 100% Iowa corn. So that 74% of the blend is 100% Iowa 100%. corn. <laughs> Up front, this, you get the sweet corn, high corn mash bill, highlights the true essence of the traditional bourbon, 74 corn, 14 rye, 12 barley. It's a clean and approachable whiskey per what they say. But uh, anyway, here's the thing I wanted to get to. It's aged in a ch number three charred, number three char barrel. There you go. And it is non-chill filtered, which makes it nice. Yeah. And these are barrels are aged in non-climate controlled warehouses, resulting in a hundred degree temperature swing over the course of a year. Wow. There is no age statement on this whatsoever. It None that dark. I can see. So yeah, it but it does look dark, yeah. right? All right. So here it is. I poured a little of it. I'm gonna drink a little whiskey and I'm gonna sniff it and see what huh. I think. No age at all. Interesting. None that I can see. So if it's not age statement, it means it has to be at least four years old. I believe that's correct. Or is it at least two? I think it's at straight. least two. If it's a straight, it's got to be two. Okay. So oh. it is a straight bourbon whiskey. So we're there. All right. Let's give it a sniff. Oh, it smells good. It smells good right off the bat. It's definitely got a uh, sweet corn nose. Some char influence. That number three char for sure is coming through on the barrel. That's pretty I pretty nice. There, could you tell? Yeah, it looks. You little, didn't shave. Little, little hue. Little little. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at you. Little, little shadow. Starter. Yeah. Maybe whacked you in the head with something. <laughs> like uh, not like it's me. Like Twenty one degrees out. I, I'm glad I didn't shave. The stocking cap stayed Ooh, on. Yeah. Hold, yeah. hold on a second. How cold is it? Twenty one degrees. It's snowing. Oh, okay. I I was at the pool today for a couple yeah. hours. It, it was six <laughs> eight. Yesterday, oh. or, wow! No Sunday. Okay, Sunday I was at the beach. This weekend is supposed to be in the seventies, so for okay. Easter it's supposed mm. to be in seventies. There you go. There you go. All right, smells good. Nothing really uh, off-putting or anything in the nose. Doesn't smell bad at all. All right, I'm gonna give this thing a sip. I, I've really? been waiting. I've been waiting seven days to sip this whiskey. So <laughs> <laughs> it sucks because I wanted it to show up last Tuesday and it was a day late. I don't um, understand why you torture yourself. Just open it. I do it for you. I do it for the people watching, Tommy. Well, you do it for yourself. You know, you okay. Get that neck pour out of the way. <laughs> people like to hear the pop of the new bottle. Right. And the glug. And the glug. Tommy, glug. I think Don Farmer's right. adding well, me. You got plenty of buttons up there. You can simulate a cork pop. <laughs> Just push it when you're like. There you go. Uh -oh. This one. 
<laughs> I just opened a bunch of bottles. Tommy, I would never fake it. <laughs> I'd never fake it. Hey, I saw Christopher David came in. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Let's see. Did I miss anybody else? There you go. Gary's here. Gary, Gary said the two XO innkeeper and Phoenix. Okay. you. I like the Phoenix too. I have not had the innkeepers yet. As soon as I can get a hold of one, as soon as I see it, it's mine. There you go. There you go. Uh, supposedly the old elk wheat and rye is great. I haven't seen that one yet, Tim. I do like, I do like a lot of the old elk stuff. I like the, uh, I like the 2021 infinity blend. I did not have the, uh, the 2022, but the 2021 was pretty fantastic. Hey, I've been to the North here. What's up, buddy? Okie dokie. So Cedar Edge is an independent distillery. It is. I guess it, it falls in the world of craft. I believe that would be considered craft. All right. Let's see. Mr. Jake said, order the Cedar Ridge a few weeks back. Hasn't arrived yet. Hopefully soon. How is it? I'm digging it. I'm digging it. So I'm going to have another sip right now, actually. Has anybody found, I know, well, I know Rob found, um, shit. Um, the two, the new two XL. He That's gave what we were just a, talking a about, link. the innkeeper. The innkeeper, yes. Yeah, he gave me a link to it for a different website I've never used before. And it's, you know, it's $27 shipping. So it's going to be, I mean, it was cheaper. It was like 90 bucks, but then $27 shipping. It's still going to be like 130 something. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I never saw one of the other ones here local. So I, I don't know. I'm just kind of. So on the on the Cedar Ridge, I'm get I'm getting a spicy thing, and it's it's not as high rye. It's only fourteen percent toasted rye, and then twelve percent barley. But there there's a spiciness to it, and uh, and the spiciness actually has a tongue tingle going on along with it. It's not really the proof because I'm not getting the Kentucky hug. It's definitely on mid palate. Uh, a little bit spicy, peppery, maybe peppery, maybe black pepper even. Yeah, it's definitely got that tongue tingle that you get like on a black pepper type thing but there's there's a little bit of sweetness on the front end that kind of disappears pretty quickly into like a dark thing and i haven't quite figured out what the dark thing yet it is probably from the char because of that number three char but yeah i think this is a fairly enjoyable whiskey actually i i, I like it i like it i think it was like what are these 50 dollars a bottle they're not much i think seal box still has some of them <laughs> yeah they did. i looked on there today 45 dollars a bottle 44.99 yeah, yeah, so for forty four ninety nine, at one hundred and sixteen proof. Yeah, and it's different. It's it's a unique enough whiskey that it's not like everything else you have on your shelf. I, I like this. I like it. It's interesting. It's it's a it's a good whiskey. You said Scott said he liked it, right? Yeah, Scott. Scott yeah, Scott opened his bottle last week. <laughs> yeah, Scott and I. <laughs> well, that's the difference. Is I was on Tuesday and Scott yeah. wasn't. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. He, we got ours on the same day. He just got to open. Oh, us okay. First. Yeah. I was gonna say he's a little bit closer too. So. Yeah, he got he just got it. I think they ship out of uh this ships out of DC or something. DC, yeah. Yeah. Hey Tommy, I left you a message in private chat. I like this. Oh, okay. This okay, so now I just got a um like almost a, a fruit juice kind of thing, like but not like a pure fruit juice. I don't know if anybody remembers juicy juice mm -hmm. that had like all the different fruit flavors mixed together. I kind of just got that for a second. Just, just in a weird way, or maybe even like the melted popsicle thing. I don't know if anybody's ever got the melted popsicle thing on a, on a whiskey where you can kind of taste that sugary syrup thing, but you also <laughs> taste the popsicle stick. <laughs> or for Mark, a tongue depressor. <laughs> they have a certain a certain taste to them. I feel like I just got a little of that on that last sip, but could have just been. almost gives me the chills thinking about that wooden stuff, like with the ice water ice and the wooden spoon in there. Yes. Kind of Rag down your teeth and you're like, Ugh. oh yeah, <laughs> not the best. All right, let's see. We've got Chris got some information where Cedar Ridge single barrels are typically three to four and a half year barrel, based on when I pick barrels there. Okay, okay. I mean, I don't know what this this blend is, but um, I would imagine it's probably in the same range. I don't know how long Cedar Ridge has been around, but I imagine they have, don't have like some super aged whiskey. But this is their own thing. Obviously, they're planning on doing it again since they gave it a batch number of 0001. Um, and it's a barrel proof. I don't know if they plan on putting out like three, like the Elijah Craig's per year or whatever, but this, this is pretty good for 45 bucks, 116 proof. 
it's got some character to it. It's got it's got a lot of things going on. I, I, I could see myself liking this one. There you go. <clears throat> What's up, Zach Jones? Sorry I had to time you out a few times tonight, buddy. <laughs> had to. Just had to. Still love you. Hopefully you still love me too. You said cheers. Let me let me cheers you. I'm gonna cheers you with this. I'm gonna pour a little bit more of the Cedar Ridge. I'm I'm enjoying it. Yeah, that's not bad. There is a slight graininess I just got on the last bit of it, but it's not like it's not prevalent. There's there's a slight graininess there. I think the char does a pretty good job of hiding the youth. You know, I think that that probably helps. There you go. But there's a nice sweetness there, and the corn sweetness is there. But it's it's it it, it tastes more like the uh, like barrel, like that char added added some nice sweetness to it as well. Yeah, I'm gonna pour a little bit more of this. That's pretty it probably good. Probably helped on that color too. Yeah, yeah. This is yeah. dark. This yeah. is dark. There you go. It's dark. Three is kind of the middle of the road chart too. Four yeah, and- yeah. Five. Yeah. What do they go up to five? Right. Right. I believe so. Well, here. Let me let me put it next to Elijah Craig. I got one right here. They're very similar. They're very close. He, even from my side of looking at things on the yeah. other side of the camera, they're very close. I think the, the Cedar Ridge probably has it just by the air. bottle's a bit yeah. wider. You're looking yeah. through more, more, more volume. Yeah. What uh, um, would you say the proof was? One sixteen. Which you know, they're they're calling it barrel proof, but let's let's be honest, it's not going to be an even number. Now, my understanding is is they they use a pretty high entry proof on their whiskey. Um, I think they're distilled. Let's see. Look, I'm going to make sure I get it. Okay. So th- it's distilled to a higher proof of 148 to 150 before it's put into the barrel. So I don't know yeah. how they're calling this a, a barrel proof yeah, and yeah. bringing it that far down. And well, it can't go in the barrel more than 125. Yeah. To be a bourbon. Right. Right. Well, they said distilled at, so they right, distill right. it at that and then they proof it down before down it goes into the barrel. Yeah. So maybe that's what they're doing. Maybe they're proofing it down to 116 before it goes into the barrel. Could be. That'd still be hard to maintain it at that exact proof point. So, which if you're talking about a hundred degrees temperature swings, three to four years, you, you're going to have some evaporation. You're going to have some evaporation yeah. for sure. For sure. Hey, what's up, Rob D? Uh, he said, cheers, y'all. Let me get a little more cheers and whiskey. <laughs> cheers, <laughs> I got to get some cheers and whiskey for that, buddy. Um, uh-oh. Hey, Michelle's here, too. Cheers, cheers. Yep. I'll get there. I'll get there. <laughs> I'm going to catch you up right now. Cheers, Rob. Good to see you, buddy. Sugar juice. You must be talking about the juicy juice. Yeah. <laughs> Pro- probably. Probably. <laughs> Okay, so 2010 was Cedar Ridge's first small batch. Okay, but that wasn't a small batch uh, barrel proof. So they've been are around. Are you going to believe Tim? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, I am. They're not rookies, I believe, buddy. There we go. There's Michelle. What's up, Michelle? Good to see you. Cheers to you. Be sure to check out Women of Whiskeys tomorrow night around. I don't know what time you guys go on. 11 p.m. Yeah, they on, usually go on the on East 11. Coast. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, nobody's been going on after him, have they? Like Brian? Uh, not lately. Not lately. Yeah. Are you thinking I should? They're no. going on right about the time of your uh, patron stream. Yeah, yeah. tomorrow's patron patron stream is going to be pretty short. It's pretty much going to be the barrel, uh, the, the bottle giveaways. We'll do a little bit of a hangout, but but it's going to be fairly short. It's not going to be a three-hour hangout like it has been the last few times. Or, or you can go watch Jeremy Sire and the Bourbon Junkies and watch – just Dan swoon all over Jeremy and yeah, yeah, uh, pretty much come up from under the table. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm totally gonna not watch that. No, I'm not either. I mean, I would, but I'm gonna be busy. Maybe later. Maybe later. Yeah, when I'm going to bed. When I'm going to bed. <laughs> There's some truth to that. Oh, got Jason Busey in the house. What's up, Jason? Yeah, what's up, Jason? Jason? Buddy. Cheers, buddy. Good to see I took you. a shower today. That's why. Yeah, you look great. You look great. <laughs> My wife has been going everybody. for almost a week. So I, I, when is she coming back? Tomorrow. Hold tomorrow. on a second. This whole time you you've been you've been a bachelor and you didn't bachelor, let me know man. until today. Yeah. Well, I've yeah. been calling I mean, you every day and messing with you. Oh, well. <laughs> I, hung out I could have been nights. sending packages to you via Amazon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just all sorts oh. of weird shit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Hey, good to see you, Jason. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, man. Cheers, buddy. Yeah, she comes back tomorrow. She's uh okay. She spent a couple days in Vegas with her friends, and then 
Oh. Her, and, her and another friend went up to Seattle with a third friend to stay at their house for a while. They all were co-workers, Japanese co-workers in Okinawa when we were living there. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, one of them. So they one of them lives in Seattle. She married American. She's living in in uh, Seattle, and they they are in the distribution of the green plant. And then um, another friend co-worker lives she was an american citizen living over there but she lives in california now and then another friend from that still lives in japan who's japanese she actually had to come over and visit somebody in philadelphia so they all oh, kind wow. of coordinated it and met in vegas yeah and then headed up to seattle the other two went back to california sounds yeah. like a good time oh my wife has sent me a few good texts like <laughs> from, from vegas <laughs> that's the first time for or my wife being in vegas so oh, okay it. okay vegas is an interesting place yeah they uh before even going there she had tickets for the waba junkie or the waba the dance jabberwockies mass people whatever it was uh, yeah jabberwockies listen Jabberwockies, if, if, you if you're not there to see Brittany, don't don't go to vegas <laughs> I don't, know how I don't think I'd be going to Vegas. I've given her that tip because the Jabberwockies is a great show. No, no, it is, it is. I'm just, kidding. but you got to see Britney while you're there. Is, is the Blue Man Group still going? I wonder. I'd like to go see them. Oh, garbage. Uh, Ben of the North. Fresh Alberta fresh is a very dry garbage. climate. Year round has extreme weather. Winter is minus 40 to 50 Celsius, can get up to plus 35, 40 Celsius in summer. So distilleries have a higher than average angel share of evaporation. Yeah, yeah makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I mean, the barrels are moving in and out too much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And then they strap them to the dog sleds and drag them across the, the tundra. Most people don't know about that part about Canadian mm -hmm. whiskey. The, the Iditarod is just them moving whiskey. <laughs> vaccines, medicine. That's the transportation system. That's right. right. There's some vaccines and medicine, but mostly whiskey. There you go. Tim Evans, Jeremy's pretty cool. Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. Hey, no, Manny's here. What's up, Manny? Good to see you, buddy. Cheers to you. What'd you say? The, I did the original ride. Ride. They're taking like, polio medical vaccines. supplies. Right. Yeah. yeah. Cheers, Manny. What, what were they moving, Mark? Were they moving like penicillin or something? It was like that? polio vaccine. Polio vaccine. Wow. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Jonas Salk. How wow. am I? How do I do? How do I do? I just know that from Balto, the movie with the dog sleds. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Never seen it. All right. Tim Evans says the Jabberwockies is a great, great show. show. There you go. All right. Yep. Michelle said. We are doing a redneck eater, but she means Easter stream tomorrow Easter night stream. with a golden egg. With an old <laughs> golden egg. I don't even know what a redneck Easter means. What, and what I live near egg? Egg. Um, It's what Veruca Salt wanted from the goose oh. or something like I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Tommy's got to look that up. Hey, Daryl. I like What's Veruca up, Salt, the band. Yeah, the band's awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, the see the see there is neither. See there, yes, yeah, it. That's right. Hey, we got fifty people hanging out. Thanks, everybody. Daryl Stokes, really good to see you, buddy. Yeah. Cheers to you. What's up, Vic? Cheers, Big Vic. Yeah, Big Vic. What's up, buddy? Big there you Vic. Uh, has got the energy. There you go. Uh, yes, I am. Look at that. Got Look the at energy. That. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Mine's in the closet, sir. So. Hey, thanks, John. Appreciate that, buddy. Appreciate that. Thanks so much. Yeah, Faruka Salt, great yes, band, sir. no oh, doubt. Oh. Uh oh, Jason Busey just killed his store pick Blue Note. Sorry, buddy. I just gave one of those away last week, last month. I one got month? fine. Well, I, I got no, fine no, two good weeks one ago on oh, my anniversary fine. stream. I gave away one of those. Who got that? I got to look. Where's the list? You don't see them too much around here for some reason. Oh, Scott got it. Scott Pigsley got the the Blue Note store pick that I had. Isaiah's got the Eagle Rare store pick. Isaiah's Venezuela. Oh, wow. And Tim Io got an Obtanium Light Whiskey from me. Mr. Jiggs, did you get your Jack Daniels from Barry? Tommy D has not got his hitter, hitter sample pack from me yet because I'm still uh, pouring I'm samples for him. him. <laughs> it's coming, buddy. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> well, I was waiting for a couple things to come in. Trust me, you're going to appreciate it. Hey, this. there you go. I'm in no rush. I'll be here. I mean, anything yeah. behind his head up there would be nice. You know? I mean, yes. Any of those. Tommy's got most of that. He doesn't need that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Jiggs got that. So Mr. Jiggs won one of these off my anniversary stream, one of the uh, Jack Daniels. Oh, yeah. 
bottled and bond and you guys can see i've been dipping into that one a little bit it's really better than it should be it is really good it's it's good i i wish the bonded was that good but it's not (laughs) hey cheech with your camera how do you tap that how do you tap that into your computer is it just usb or has it got a specific so there so there's two ways so yes you can go straight usb in but that limits you that that without a card yeah just a usb cable from my camera directly into my computer Okay. But that limits me to 1080, which is fine because that's what I'm streaming at. Right. But I'm feeding mine 4K out of the HDMI through a capture card. You don't need all, all right, that yeah. shit. Right. Well, I got a laptop, so I can't add a capture card. Right. But yeah, I got an could. HDMI, but that's t- piped into the TV. So, yeah. Anyway, I'd have to be USB. So I think, yeah. You don't want to spend this shit. kind of money on a camera, Tommy. No, I know. Just saying. But I just I was kind of wondering how the um, well, when's your channel start, Tommy? You might need a big camera. Yeah, you might, Tommy. That, you're gonna start a channel. That 35 millimeter looking camera, how that ties into the computer. Well. Yeah, uh, there's extra. There's extra stuff going yeah, on. I know. <laughs> All right, Rob D. Good to see you, buddy. And who and Isaiah's there. I mentioned Isaiah's, and he's here. Check, thanks yeah. for the stickers and the red. They weren't red hots. They were hot tamales. Anybody yeah, knows yeah. what I. So my wife came up with a great idea. She said, whenever you get a box of candy in a, in a shipment, you know, as a noisemaker, sign it and then send it on with the next thing to you the send. Next one. And let's see how many signatures we can get on one of these candy boxes. That'd be cool. So from now on, I'm going to start signing the candy boxes. Depends still won't be able to read it. It'll just be chicken scratch. But, you know. It better be shitty candy or I might have to eat it. Uh <laughs> Well, I can tell you this. I generally send out uh, hot tamales. I just think they make the best noise. So hot tamales, if you're a hot tamales fan, then eat the candy. You don't have to uh, not eat the candy. If you send hot tamales yeah, eat to the me, candy Donald's going to eat dried them beans or something. <laughs> right, Don, Don will eat them. I like them too. What would you say, Mark? Eat the candy and then fill the box with like dried beans or something. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. That's way too much work. Tape it yeah. back up. Sign it. <laughs> way too much. Next guy's going to be like, oh, hot tamales. Hey, what the fuck is this? Well, I was going to say, I, I got Adam um, Schitt's, he's Mr. Schitt's, he sent me a package with uh, macaroni and cheese box in it. Mm-hmm. And that still worked pretty good. Yeah, yeah, macaroni and cheese works pretty good. But when those get arrive here, they my daughter eats them. <laughs> She's like, oh, that's for me. Like, you're right. Like, Barry sent Jen uh, Mike and Ike's and the macaroni and cheese is for my daughter. <laughs> Mr. Jig says that uh, Tommy's starting a, an OnlyFans. That's why he needs a new camera system. Ah. Am I? I'd subscribe. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, Ben thinks that's a good idea. Just, you know, why not? Let's see how silly we can get with sending. Oh, okay. We can send uh, candy around. There you go. Thank you, William Hall. I'll look into it. Because I really don't want to buy a computer. I do want to buy a computer, actually. I want to get a good desktop. I want to build a desktop. There you go. You know you should consult on that? I know how to do that. <laughs> I did that for Not many, me. many years. Yeah. I oh, really? See, I, don't, I don't own any PCs except for the laptops my wife and my daughter use for, like, homeschooling. Mm. Other than that, all my, all my stuff are all Macintosh, which nobody wants that. There. No, so you got a, a like a... I've only known Macintoshes, the, the MacBook Pros and stuff like that. Yep. Uh, I know they had a all-in-one. For yeah, a while that's there. that's the iMac. I've never iMac, owned an iMac. Yeah. yeah. So what what is your box? I have a tower. I have a Mac. You have, Pro. You have a tower that's an Apple. Yeah, Mac Pro. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know they did that. You know, go look at Apple.com and see why people don't own Mac Pro. <laughs> oh yeah, they're, they're not cheap. <laughs> Uh, you can launch the space shuttle though if you need to. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. There you go. Don says they're great. I like them. I like them. They work. They gotta, work. Except for a few weeks ago when mine just shut off for no apparent reason. <laughs> I, I gotta go check on the dog real quick. Does it? Okay. Uh, Some people say they oh, go into the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, so let's go back to Mac. So my yeah, Mac a few weeks dog. ago just decided it was done. It was tired yeah, and it yeah. just wanted to shut off. There's nothing wrong with it. It just Cheat, you're done. That's that's what it yeah. is. Uh, Overheating was Mac challenge. It's different. So here's what people are like. Well, what's the difference between a Mac and a PC? I'm like, you know, when you go up to the right hand corner to the X to close out your window, on a Macintosh, it's on the left hand side. 
<laughs> that's the big difference. They're, instead of that side, I, it's that side. I, I guess since I've never had any eye-related products like yeah. iPhones, iPads, all that. See, I, we're I, we're heavily invested in the architecture yeah. at this point. Right. We, and, I, and I can understand that if that's yeah. been your platform you know, yeah. that, you, that you're used to using. It makes sense. I got used to using it doing audio work. Yeah, so, yeah. so doing audio editing, our right. studios were always Mac based. Yeah. So I got used to using Macs and then I got into video editing and it was easier on a Mac. Again, yeah. I, just, I was just already set up for it. So th that's Aren't the they less reason. prone to viruses and things like that. Then? Yeah. It's almost yeah. impossible to get a virus on your Mac unless you decide to run a, a parallel program where you install windows programs. Uh, so that opens the door to it, but I don't do yeah. that. I don't do any parallels. There All right. Let me, let me bring Tommy back on. And I'll put him back where he was. There you go, T. Nice Rob. Sticker. Some of those stickers are going out this week with some other stuff. And we got, we got Big Vic here. What's up, Vic? I, thought, so I, came, I, I came out because I thought Tommy was gone. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me fix it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm gonna put you guys next, next to each other. Uh, there yeah. you go, Tommy. I, I'm actually gonna go. pull more of the Cedar Ridge. Hey, hey, Vic, have you had the Cedar Ridge? Okay. I'm having a little bit of this. Uh, oh, that's the pick. That's the Nash and Journey pick, right? Uh, yeah, the double oak. Ooh. Oh, double oak. How's that? It's real good. I could see how this would take very well to a, to a double oak, actually. I just poured myself a, a nice, healthy pour of it. They, there they you go. They the mash bill on there, do they? Nice. Yeah, Are the these? mash bill. I think all their stuff is that 74, 14, 12. 74, 14. Yeah. Yep, yeah. There you go. That's their match. rye? Bar. Yeah. 14 toasted rye. Yeah. Really? And then 12 more malted barley. Malted barley. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Malted yeah. higher. Yeah. Got to have it sprouted. <clears throat> There you go, 100% Mac House. If you're doing any graphic works or or any type of like digital editing, audio or video, they, they just work way better. They're just their architecture set up for it. It's a little more intuitive. There you go. And they're secure. I feel much more secure when I'm on a Mac than I do on a PC, that's for sure. And Don's also an audio guy. What do you do in audio, buddy? I need to know. You see, fuck you, but I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was laughing at. I know. Mixing and mastering for music. William Hall, what do you do, buddy? I'm in the music business. We need to talk. I can always use a good mastering engineer. There you I've go. got several projects a year that need mastering. Bought a fancy schmancy HP laptop for the channel. Nothing but issues because it's an HP. That yeah, stands I for has problems. <laughs> I've got a, a relatively nice. new HP that I custom built through my work. Yeah, and that's all right. This thing runs good. Yeah, I mean, the I girls, wanted... I, I bought my wife and daughter. I got them matching HP laptops because my wife has an HP lapping, la, uh, docking station for her her job. Yeah. So she can have a three screen setup. So, you know, just overkill. But so I bought them HPs um, and they're both great. They both work yeah. really well. I had an HP with an AMD processor and it yeah. melted. Oh, the AMDs run hot. They do. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the HP know. right here. Well, now you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't ask. I got the old Intel Core processor in this yeah. HP right I got here. the AMD oh, yeah. on. No. Go yeah, one of my older Macs is when they were using Intel chips. Um, not the Mac that I'm using tonight, but the Mac that I use for the band that runs our whole show. That's got an, an i7, uh, H, uh, whatever that is, Intel, Intel. chip on yeah, it. Intel. And it's great. The yeah. problem is, is I got to make sure I can never hook that computer back up to the internet because it'll want to up, it'll want to upgrade automatically. Yeah. And once it upgrades, none of my shit's going to work anymore. So I never yeah. plug that computer back into the internet. It just lives that, in a rack with all our gear. I've had the same deal. I've got an old um, laptop. I can't remember what brand it was now, but uh, it was was an an Acer. It was an Acer, <laughs> and it had the Intel i5 chip. i5, sorry. Right. Yeah, and man, Forget that thing ran great for years, and yeah. just within the past, right before I got this one, that thing just started slowing down. Yeah, they just grind away. We, we have an Acer as well, an i5. Yeah. It and it Acer. still works, but it just takes forever to do anything on it. Don Farmer does voiceover work. I need, I need some help with that, buddy. Just e email me your contact information at whiskeyoncore at gmail.com. And also, we have another guy who does voiceover work in the in, as well. We got Andrew. We got Andrew. Uh, 
Andrew Chance does it as well. That's the oh, ASMR whiskey. Right. Uh, either, ben, either Ben was here before there was five of us, or he's, he's sliding one of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all good. It's all good. Hate is being hating. No, uh, Ben, don't hate. <laughs> check the timestamp. It must have only been four. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Tommy, I almost What's forgot I tried to pull Good the cork off of this twist out. And I didn't Twitter say hi Dom. to Tater Dom, too, because Tater Dom was here. Where did I miss you, Tater Dom? I grabbed this thing and started. Oh, Good like, to see you, What's up, Tater? I drugged my dog tonight so he'd be calm. <laughs> <laughs> you drugged him, really? What, you getting Benadryl? <laughs> No, there's some melatonin doggy chews you can get. Oh, shit. Oh, really? <laughs> he was just because of the snow. I mean, I, I I took him for a walk. No, I let him out this morning, and yeah. it was a pain in the ass to clean him because he's so damn furry and all the snow just sticks to him. And then I decided to take him for a walk and not let him play in my mud pit backyard. So that took 30 minutes to, you know, dry him off. And I'm like, well, you're not going outside again. Oh, uh, so then he gets a little like, in the house now. He gets a little like, no, I let him out. I let him out once it gets cool enough. <laughs> I him but I gave him some. I don't know. Last couple of nights, he's really missing the wife. So yeah, yeah of course he is. Of course he is. <laughs> I like how you get a dog that likes the snow, and then you won't let him go out in the snow. So mean. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to clean him. <clears throat> should have thought about that before you got the dog. Uh, I should have. You should have. That's I'm just saying. No, actually, the so it was really weird. It's snowing, but it's, the ground is warm enough, so it's not really. Oh, it doesn't stick. Much. And I have no grass in the back. It's all dirt. I I got a guy coming in a couple weeks probably mm. to fix things, and then you better wait till so that he, cold snap. You, you can't plant snow. it over top of the snow. Just you know. get artificial grass, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Turf, turf it, buddy. I'm, get, I'm getting turf mostly it. rock. I'm getting mostly rock. Cause... Well, you might want to talk to Mike Stoll and see how dogs and stones go together. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> his dog keeps on rock. like a fortune on that dog because he eats the gravel and he has to take it to the vet and get operated on. Yeah. Which oh, dog? Okay. The chocolate lab? The, the Dotson? No, no, the Basset Hound. The Basset, the Basset Hound? Hound? Yeah. 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 There's, there's the Rock Eater. Right there. The Rock Eater. He's so close to the ground. His ears don't you disparage into the Basset Hounds, Tommy. Oh yeah, I'm a huge He's, fan of my, my dog's feeling it right now. He's laying next to me. He never does this. There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, I, 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 I give him a four, Tim Evans is getting a dog for the kids in August. Wish you luck. What kind of car, do you have an idea? What kind of dog you want, Tim? Get a lab. <laughs> Get a lab. Lab. Giant lab. Knock everything over. That would be great. Fourteen K. I, I think. I think the that Mike spent way more than fourteen thousand dollars on that. Had to it down. Yeah, I think he's up to twenty K now. Yeah, was, I think it's the twenty thousand dollar dog. <laughs> oh, there's it's, no way in hell. Sorry. No. Exactly. No, 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 exactly. exactly. Yeah, I love animals. I'm not sure what the blue book value yeah. is on a basset hound, but <laughs> it's not. <laughs> no. You know, I I had a couple Where older dogs like... prior, and I bought shit when I found out how much it cost to put them down because of old age. Mark, Mark, I saw you, buddy. I said hi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got sidetracked drinking not, whiskey. When I, was, when I was working the street as a deputy, I'm glad you said as a deputy. I was going to say like, oh. <laughs> that pause was in the wrong place. Yeah, undercover him. hooker. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to several times put animals down for people. Oh, uh, because the they had taken them to the vet and they couldn't afford to spend the money to put them down, but the dogs were suffering. Oh, that's they needed to be put it down. I, I had a guy. Cry. I had a guy call one night. It no lie, it was the middle of the winter. It, we'd actually got a little bit of snow on the ground. And I get a call like 9 30 at night out in the middle of nowhere. I get there, I go knock on the door. This guy comes to the door. He's probably late 30s, early 40s. You could tell the guy had been crying. I mean, his eyes were just bloodshot, swollen. And I said, I said, what's going on? He said, he said, I, I've had my dog for 15 years. She got sick. He said, I took her to the vet and the vet said she's dying. And I didn't have the money to put her down. He said, and I was going to do it myself, but I'm a convicted felon and I can't own a gun. Oh. <laughs> and Gosh. I mean, dude, I felt so bad for the gun. He's like, he said, I've already got, a hole dug in the backyard. He said, I just need somebody to put her oh, down. I can't that's do rough. And I was like, I went back there and you could tell the dog was suffering it. And uh, 
So I went ahead and put the dog down and I went back around. I said, I said, she's not suffering anymore. And the dude just, just bear hugged me, you oh, know, man. started crying, man. That's and I'm so like, close. Oh. <laughs> it was <bad. laughs> But, oh, it's you, Rob. Don't bring me down. <laughs> but there were several man. times we got calls oh, like that. You know? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure that's that's not easy. That's not. No, easy. that's not. That's not. That's that's the that's the bad thing about dogs is they they do become part of your whole family and oh, yeah. they're everything yeah. about them. You know. That's why I stick with reptiles. <laughs> cold blooded. Baby. They're cold blooded. You don't have to love them. <laughs> they're not going to love you back. Oh, that's not true. I I, I do I like. You get tired of them, you just let them out. Yeah. <laughs> we we got the cutest little alligator in the pond near us right now. He's like a little three footer, you know, and he's yeah. he's so cute. Uh, Actually, it's it's a she. We keep saying her name's Allison. Ah, Allison. My brother used to have an alligator. He, alligator. he got it when it was about that long. Yeah, and he had it for about three years. He had it in a big terrarium. Yeah. And it got <laughs> as big as the terrarium, and uh. He was he didn't know what to do with it. And the guy at work he told he was talking to a guy at work. The guy said, Hey, you bring him to me. I got a pond that people keep fishing in. And he's got <laughs> posted signs up. There he you said, go. put him in there. He said, I'm tired of dealing with them people with that get to run them off. <laughs> so he he did. He went over there and, and they didn't have any more problem with people coming to the pond. So. Shelter had a pretty good uh, story. Yeah, there you go. Thanks for cheering us up to your <laughs> Oh, it's all looking up from now. It's all looking up. I don't brought everybody now. Sorry about that. Uh, What's up, Mr. Lopez? I saw you come in. What's up, Mr. Lopez? Cheers, Mr. Lopez. Uh, trying to see where I missed him coming in. There he is. Mr. Lopez in the house. What's up, Cheech and the entire Encore crew? Cheers, folks. Let me cheers you. I'm cheersing you with some of this Cedar Ridge uh, barrel proof. This is this is tasty. <clears throat> So when it says barrel proof and it's a batch thing, I immediately think obviously like the Elijah Craig thing and then the larceny thing. It's nothing like uh, either of those. It's completely different. It's a completely different flavor profile. It's a little darker. I just got a little maybe dry fruit, like maybe even, I don't want to say the word prunes because that scares people off, but it's got like a little yeah. prune thing going on. How about a rare breed? You know, that's 116 proof. Oh, yeah. I also have another bottle that I was going to open tonight. I didn't put it on the thumbnail, but it's also a hunt around 116 proof. It's the Blue Run the Emerald, Emerald Rye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just I, saw that shit today. Totally I man. picked that up uh, on my whiskey hunt last week. What day was that? I went whiskey hunting on Saturday, and I went to a bunch of new stores again, and I've been striking out doing this, but I found one. I finally found a new store that had good shit at good prices, but it wasn't my first stop and it wasn't my last stop so i didn't buy but that one bottle there but i know i'm going to go back because they had other stuff it's a couple hours how much drive you find that one there for cheech 99 bucks oh so it's the same price here yeah 100 dollars. so it was it was it was the right price that's the retail on it so yeah. i might open that up what, what was the one that you said tim the uh, rare breed yeah rare breed yeah 116.8 116, i think it is on yeah. that let me see if i got one of those nearby not even yeah. looking <laughs> yep that feels like it how do I do? There you go. There you go. <laughs> it's on Turkey Island next That's to right. the other turkey and the other turkey. All right. I'm going to pour a little of this. They're, they're vastly different whiskeys, though. I can just tell you that right now. They, they're not even close to the same thing. But let me pour a little of this rare breed. Just now, me 101. A 101. Oh, hey, guys. Glenn's empty. Enjoy the night. All Enjoy right. Thanks for hanging out, Mark. Mark. Take care, you, buddy. See you guys around. Later, Doc. I'll try to get on that Patreon stream. Yeah. All right, yeah, tomorrow night, Charlie. giving away some yeah. bottles. Jeez. Two of them. We give away the March bottle and yeah. the April bottle tomorrow night. Uh, I got to get on there and win something. All right, buddy. See you tomorrow night. See you later, Mark. Mark, don't get on there tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> you do not have to be present to win, but oh, you do I'm have bad. to be a Patreon. You do have yeah, to be a patron. Right. All right, so uh, the Cedar Ridge is darker than this one. Mm. All right, let me smell the – I'm going to drink a little water. Yeah, I kind of know what I'm going to get into with the Rare Breed because I've had it. Oh, yeah. There you, there you go. go. There you go. Apparently, I have a whole bunch of those I forgot about. Oh, wow. Move some inventory? Uh, yeah, I moved some boxes and realized yeah. there were some boxes I forgot I had behind mm. the boxes. It's awesome. Fucking old ass turkey is real good. Dude, it is. Any good. old turkey's good. Yeah. 
Oh, Jason's daughter's getting his her driving permit. Good for you, buddy. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice. Um, I've already started teaching my daughter to drive. She's got a few years to go, but I've been teaching her to drive. <laughs> um, yeah, that that's a that's a big move, man. That's that's that is that's a big deal. That's a that's big awesome, deal. Man. Good luck with that, Jason. Well, his daughter's very responsible. I'm sure it'll be no big deal. That's no right. big deal at all. So this is the new view. I got two actual real trees. Can't see shit, backyard. man. You just look like you're in a black room. <laughs> Yeah, really, I was gonna say, you took the screen off, or yeah, there's literally there's nothing. Kind of a light. I see some like stars right there. The dead trees on this side. Is oh, okay. The trees I have in the back. Oh, okay. uh, What's okay. the light over your right shoulder? Is that like a plane? It's a star. <laughs> it's gone now. Yeah. Uh, Might have all been. right. So, so the 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 rare breed comes off way sweeter on the nose, like right okay. off the bat. And doesn't have nearly that char thing good. that the Cedar Ridge does. That Cedar Ridge has a lot of char oh, no, on it. Yeah. In the way. Anybody know the mash bill on the Turkey Rare Breed? Ninety-five percent. No, it's greatness. <laughs> well, it's one hundred percent greatness. Five percent age. One hundred percent greatness. All right. Well, it in, it in regular wild turkey one hundred and one, twenty-one uh, percent rye. Yeah, it's a twenty-one yeah. percent rye. I just don't know the corn is. I don't either. Yeah, seventy four. I think on the corn. It's gonna, it's gonna be, be a lot of water. Twenty one. Gonna be pretty. Yeah. yeah. Normal. I could tell you this does not have any graininess in it at all. No, <laughs> the no, the, the no, rare breed no. does not have a grainy taste, aftertaste, no. or anything. Hey, Troy man's on the back. Let's bring Troy man on. You ready, yeah, Troy? You're here. Troy. <laughs> Wait, no, no, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Troy's Knocking right. Everything. Troy's right. Uh, What's up, Troy? I thought I'd join you for a little bit tonight. Yes, yeah, man. Good to see you. Morning, yeah, Scott's here. What's up, Bill? Good to see you. Yeah. That yeah that that story. Uh, <laughs> let's not tell that again. No, <laughs> Everybody's crying now. Uh, oh. My eyes is watering for the day gum oak pollen. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's I, been I, bad. Past I've week. noticed it the last week or so. It's been yeah. pretty rough around yeah. here. Troy, what are you sipping on? Uh, I'm sipping on. I'm doing low proof tonight, so I got a go. top floor. There you go. Those are solid, though. Yeah, yeah. man. After that, I, I got the Bi Fly Triticale, which is. Oh, I don't have that. Well, how is that? that? How is that? <clears throat> it's different. Yeah. Different in a good way. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, oh, you're I, not going to pull I haven't out the any of their stuff yet. So. The what? You're pulling out the shanks? This one? <laughs> there you go. Oh, wow. Is that. Which, which, which shanks is that, buddy? That's the 2022. Oh, I got. The, oh, I've yeah. got the 2021. There you go. I like. I, I, I like the, the shanks. I like any of the Victor stuff, though. The yeah, that, that's a good one. Good. Yeah. Sorry, I'm reading the chat. Let's see. I just got. I got so upset when whiskey so late. Love turkey juice, but I haven't seen any old turkey turkey bottle anywhere I've been. Listen, I I just accidentally find those things. I haven't found one though in like six months. So I, I you know, the days of finding those old turkeys on the shelves are probably nearly over. Unless you end up in the middle of nowhere or somewhere, you might find one. Uh, yeah, I got those, nowhere lately. Nothing. I got those ones I got for me, and uh, I sent Ed a couple. Yeah. That, that, that Shane and them told me about. There you go. Hey, dude, that thing is delicious, man. But those yeah. things got gone quick, man. It was like, like the word got out, and it was like – Were those they the, had e, like, the E batches? They were the F and G. F and G, okay. They were uh, late 2017 and oh, early 2018. God. Yeah, those are 18. Yeah. Okay. I, I have a few of those. They're just – They are so good, man. There you go. Benchmark top floor. Yeah. Which I like yeah. the bottle and bond it's good. benchmark. I almost started with the bottle and bond, but I the Buffalo Trace is right next to it, so I grabbed it. There you go. Yeah, oh, single barrel is really good. Oh, single barrel. Yeah, single barrel. Yeah, single barrel. Good. I like single barrels, and I like the uh, the full proof. The full proof yeah. is the full kind, proof of where, is. kind of where it's at. Yeah. In the bang for buck category, that's one of the oh, gosh, hard, yeah. hard oh, whiskeys yeah. to beat for yeah. sure. Yep. I don't even remember where I got mine. Got it somewhere. Oh, I got, I got uh, all my benchmarks whiskey last wars, year at Whiskey Weekend Batch Four, and I've only got uh, the bonded left. Oh. 
are those around you at all? No. I can. I got to get a Georgia to get the benchmark eight number eight. I got a pile of those uh, things right now. Uh, Probably they're not in. Worth. They're not in South Carolina or North Carolina. So I just went back to the Cedar Ridge after the rare breed, and uh, now it smells really grainy. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> like it wasn't as grainy until after I went back to it. Right. Mm. Still not off putting though. Right. Here's the yeah. thing about the graininess is like along with the graininess, there's that char that 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 barrel char is very yeah. prevalent. You think, do you think it's yeah. the age or do you think it's the malt? It's probably a little of both. Okay. That that malt is pretty strong in this. Yeah. My thing with malt because it's their own juice anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's definitely their. It's it's very unique. It's not like yeah. any other whiskey. It's very it's very much its own thing, and I like it. Mm-hmm. But going back to it, I can smell the grains a little bit more. Aren't they the ones that do that quintessential one? Everybody's been talking about oh, the quintessential. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't had it. Yeah, that's not bad. It's still not bad. Even going back to it, it's not bad. It's different. It's very different. Even at the same mm-hmm. proof point, it comes off a little spicier. I wouldn't say hotter. It's not really hotter. I'm not getting any difference in the hug, but definitely spicy on the tongue. And and a, a slight graininess, but not in a graininess in a bad way. Like when I drink Penelope, the graininess bothers me. This, the graininess is not bothering me at all. I think the, the, the higher char really helps this. Yeah, it's it's so completely different than the wild turkey even at the same proof point it's nothing similar to it at all it's a very different whiskey i like that that's a good 45 five dollar bottle that's the other thing you got to remind yourself it's a 45 five dollar bottle what's a rare read now 55 60 bucks uh they're they're getting up there i've Mm -hmm. I've seen them as cheap as 49 and as high as 60. i haven't seen one for 49 in at least a year probably more than that but but you know what you're going to get as far as quality goes oh, yeah. with, oh, yeah. with with yeah. With, the, with the wild turkey. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, at a, this one's one sixteen proof. The other one's one hundred and sixteen even. I could I could see myself reaching for either of those depending on my mood. The Cedar Ridge definitely has like a, a darker thing going on. It's like a darker, a little more heavily charred, and then that malt comes through. Um, and it's spicier. It's like a peppery spice. It's very tingly on the tongue, like a, mm. like a black pepper type spice. You don't taste the black pepper, but you kind of feel the black pepper. Spicy is good. Yeah, yeah. I like I like spicy for sure. So spicy. So spicy. <laughs> Are we going back to that? Hey, what's up, J Max? Right. House. What's up, corn and whiskey? Mm. So all right so cedar ridge is the quintessential and it's great for the price i've never seen the quintessential before i've heard about it a few people have talked to me about it but i've never never seen one of those i mean i've never seen a cedar ridge in person the only reason i got this one was because of, of seal box so yeah uh jason have a good all night right, buddy busy. yeah you have, nine hour, you have nine hours of meeting in an eight hour day tomorrow well yeah i've been there yeah i'm gonna have to get that's what I, that's how I feel about that, buddy. And you get one of these too. <laughs> Jason, have a good night, buddy. Yeah. There you go. Bought a rare breed today for 44 bucks. Wow. Not counting the 20% oh, Washington God. tax. Yeah. Well, uh, he, yeah, you take a win where you get it. Hold on. That's still right around what I pay for. That's not so right. Bad. Yeah. 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 That's fair. But God, that tax. That's just the worst. That still puts it around. 50 or so, so. Yeah, 50, 50 something dollars. That's not too bad. 43.99750. That's 55.84 after tax. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's about, about what I paid for it. S- similar, yeah. similar. Go with the old Forester 1920 hard to beat for the price. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what 115 proof on that? Yep. I'm not I'm not going to drink that. Am I? Am I going to pour some of that? <laughs> I mean, I might as well. I'm in that price, that proof point. There we go. It's on the other side of Turkey Island. It's a different (laughs) frame. It's a different flavor profile for sure, but I I comparison is needed. But in that in that proof point, first of all, that that 
that teens, those 114, 118 proof mm-hmm. points, to me, those are like the best as far as like bang for buck goes, as far as like flavor, proof, oh, yeah, yeah. viscosity, mouthfeel, all of it kind of comes together in that 114 to 118 range. So we're right in the middle of that at 116. Yeah. Let me drink a little water and then I'm going to pour some of this old Forester. I haven't had this 1920 in a while. That old Forester, a lot of times to me, drinks just a little bit hotter. It, yeah, some it, some old foresters definitely. Yeah, it usually drinks in like the low 120s. Yeah, okay. but it's still got a lot of flavor to it. So this is the new label 120, but this is like the very first version of the new label. So I know they've put out a couple since then. There you mm-hmm. go. But let's pour a little of that and see how it is. All right, so now I've got three different whiskeys that are. <laughs> One one fifteen, which is the old forest, or one sixteen, which is the Cedar Ridge, and then one sixteen point eight, which is the That's wild right. turkey. So all within a, a couple points of each other. Yeah. Oh gosh, the, the old forester <laughs> smells so good. <laughs> it just got so much better. I went to a wedding a couple of weeks ago and they had great food at this wedding. One one of the best caterers. I, I, I love I've weddings had. with good food. And uh, mm-hmm. they had a little bar set up. My, I went and got me a beer. And the second time I went to get me a beer, I, I saw they had some liquor bottles on a table kind of back behind the bar in the corner. And they had a, a container with like punch or something in it that was kind of hiding them. And I'm, I'm looking and I see a Tito's and something else. And then I saw the neck and I saw that 115 tag. Oh, yeah. And I knew what it was. And I said, let me get a pour of that. You know? That old forest. And I, I ended up drinking the rest that they had. So. Let me tell you, this smells fantastic. <laughs> I, I would yeah. say out of, out of between the Cedar Ridge, the wild turkey, and the old forester, and I'm a wild yeah. turkey fan, this old forester smells fantastic. Yeah, so they had, uh, they had shrimp and grits. There you go. They had uh, pulled pork barbecue. They had collard green um, egg rolls. Interesting. Which mm. was delicious. Yeah, that, I was going to say that's interesting, but it also sounds really good. And then they had a, a, a it was baked potatoes, but it was it was actually whipped potato bar where you just fixed your own like uh, loaded baked uh, loaded mashed potatoes. Yeah. And, uh, Man, I ate too damn much. <laughs> <laughs> Carb it up, buddy. Carb that's it up. It, that's it. All right, I'm gonna have a sip of this 120 because I haven't. I I can't remember the last time I drank this. It's probably since, been since the first of the year, maybe before. There you go. I think I might have drank some on my New Year's stream. Mm. Right off the bat, the viscosity of this 120 is so crazy compared to the other two. But I can also tell you there's a little more ethanol on this than I remember. Yeah, I get a little heat on them. Yeah, yeah it's it's yeah. more of an ethanol bite. There's it not much different as far as the, the proof and the heat goes. Right. But I actually I actually taste the alcohol mm-hmm. side of it. But along with that, <laughs> there is there's a lot of other things going on. Yeah. <laughs> the banana thing is real. Yeah. A little of that going on. Obviously, this is completely unscientific, but I've, <laughs> if I had to rank these things right now, I would probably say that the Cedar Ridge is right in the middle there between these two, right in the middle. And I, I like the Wild Turkey and I like the Old Forester 120. I mean, the, the, the 1920. Yeah. But I feel the Cedar Ridge is kind of halfway in between those. The Cedar Ridge has a much stronger flavor overall than either of them. So as far as flavor goes, but that flavor is not as balanced. So Mm -hmm. the thing I get about the turkey is it's got exactly what you expect from turkey. There's little funk there. It's a nice proof. There's no graininess at all. The the Old Forester has the proof. It actually drinks a little hotter than what it is. It actually drinks hotter than the two 116s. I probably guess this more like 120. But but it but it's good. There's no like spikiness to it. It's a fairly balanced across the spectrum. I think that's what the the Cedar Ridge lacks is balance. It's not balanced. It's very uh, 
got it's got some peaks and valleys to it. Yeah, that old forester is not bad. All right, drink some water. I'm gonna drink them all again. I didn't mean to compare all these. This is organic. This is happening just because it's happening. So. Yeah, your description says you're opening one bottle tonight, not three. Well, <laughs> the other two were already open. <laughs> the Cedar Ridge has been the only bottle crack so far tonight. So, listen, the first Tuesday of every month, I try to open bottles. And I have other bottles I can oh, open. It is the I, first Tuesday. But I said to Jen, I was like, I've been opening three or four bottles every month on my Tuesday <laughs> streams, and now I've got 260, 270 open bottles open of whiskey. Bottles. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm, I'm not getting through these things quick enough, you know? I'm sampling them out as quickly as I can, but all right. <laughs> Wild Turkey, Cedar Ridge, Old Forester. There you go. I'm going to go in a different order. I'm going to go back to the wild turkey, and then I'm going to go back to the Cedar Ridge. Mm. Unscientific and for no particular reason. <laughs> I'm drinking. <laughs> it's true. It just happened to be that they're all close hey, to the same fruit. They are. They're, the they're all bourbons. You know. Yep. They're all, yeah, they're all straight bourbons. Okay, so I just got like a candy thing on the nose on the wild turkey. Oh. It's only probably because of the uh, the other stuff I've had. Right. The turkey is coming off as really sweet on the nose. Are you sure you're just not drunk? No, I'm not drunk at all. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a minute. I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, God. Wild turkey is so good. Yeah, that really is. Really <laughs> Catch, up, really Catch, up. Catch up. It's just what? on another level. Yeah, wild turkey is so good. Damn, that's good. It's a very well-balanced whiskey. Like it It's is. like... It's got everything. It's got the right proof. It's got a viscosity to yeah. it that's nice. Yeah. There's a little bit of sweetness, like a buttery thing that's going right. on. I, if I say it's lacking anything, it's lacking char. It's lacking barrel influence that you can't really smell or taste. Yeah, yeah it's not not super oaky, but it's sweet and delicious. I, I pick up more of that oak in that 1920. Yeah, the 1920 definitely has smoke. Yeah. All right. Uh, wild turkey rare breed <laughs> for the win. For the win. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna cut on out. I gotta go to work. All right, see Rob. I know you gotta get up, buddy. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna right, try buddy. to catch you on the stream tomorrow night. So. All right, man. Yeah, I'll, I'll All be right. on. I'll All be right. Good night, everybody. All right, Tim. All right buddy. All right, All right, I'm gonna oh, go we'll back. I'll be on the stream, stream tomorrow. Night. I'm going to a hockey game tomorrow. Oh, really? Who's uh, playing? Western Tracker. Hockey League playoffs with the Tri City Americans and the Port George Cougars. Wow. It's a local team. <laughs> I'm, hold on. I'm going to try to feign some excitement. Wow. 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 That sounds like a real. I think it's row six. We're going to be good. Oh, that's a, that's a, hey, uh, that's if, cool. if there's anything I can say about a hockey game is heckle. Yeah. If you can. They, if you can. The thing here is bells. And I was thinking of like bringing my Vuvu Zela from the World Cup. <laughs> but I also don't want to get kicked out. So. Yeah, I was going to say, you might lose it. You don't want to do that. <laughs> Don't forget yeah, to watch, watch it be in the middle. Like, ah. All right. Gonna bring the rock to push. Uh, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Jigs herded them Not old forester game. single barrel barrel proof bitches. Pretty good. Yeah, I've got I've got a couple of those. Those are those are pretty good. Those are pretty good. I actually just picked up a couple hundreds. Oh yeah, oh, the those. single barrel yeah. hundreds are good, man. Yeah. Those things are always good. Chris, oh, you should yeah. come out here. Yeah, I'm about two thirds through my only barrel, a bottle of the old Forester hundred, uh, single barrel. Yeah. I need to find more, but in my area, they're about $120 a bottle. Oh God, that's high. And wow. if, if bourbon baller has them, they're 50 bucks. So it's like, yeah, I was going to say those are like, I think I paid 50 or 60 for those when I find them. Yeah. Yeah. I got them for What's like up, Burton? Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> 260 bucks. Two sixty. I, I said 260 open. I don't know how many are open. <laughs> I literally don't know. It's a lot. It's we'll a lot. We'll put them into a container and then we'll count at the next meetup. Okay, we could do that. We could do that. <laughs> What's up, four cylinder Mustang? What's up? <laughs> What's oh, up, Steve Burkow? Yeah. Good to see you, buddy. All right, hold on. This is the Cedar Ridge. I'm back to the Cedar Ridge. Let me give this a sniff. It smells good. I, I like the way it smells.
Yeah, there's a darkness. That's all I can keep saying. There's like a, a heavy, dark flavor on there. And that that number three char barrel is uh, hmm. it's got a lot of influence on it. But but there's a little bit of graininess on the back of it. So yeah, didn't Scott said he was gonna come on and come join yeah, he said. for a, a cedar? He's under no obligation to do so. Mm-hmm. Got 45 people hanging out watching this. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, I might open something else new here in a second. We'll see. Once I get over this, uh, everything in the 115, 116 category, I wonder how many other whiskeys I have in that category. I could probably spend the whole night doing oh, that. Yeah. What, so did you, did your, you double uh, up on that, on that Cedar Ridge? Well, I see one behind your head. Yeah, uh, one of those is going to be given away tomorrow night on my Patreon, on Patreon oh, stream. Nice. So I, I got an extra to give away. So... What's the bottle behind your fantail behind your head? Is it a Penelope? Uh, there's no Penelope on that shelf. Coming for you. Okay, so what's what's the, what's the <laughs> bottle? I can't really see the label. I don't know behind it. Oh, that's the uh, J. Henry Laflamme. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't opened that yet. Well, there you go. I'm not opening it tonight either. Two sixty one. <laughs> I, I I don't want to count how many bottles I have open. Mm-hmm. I don't like to do this, but here. Well, you better hurry up and get your new setup going. Those are all open. Uh, is that an Evan Williams green label? What's that? Is that an it's, Evan Williams green label? No, I don't have an Evan Williams green label. Maybe you should get one. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have it. Indiana Foundation, Kelvin, yeah. Yeah, those are back there. Those are behind me for sure. Did anybody buy the uh, Did was you it Bourbon the Outfitter that just had the release of the four gates? Yeah, Bourbon yeah. Outfitter had all of them. And, and okay. and it, the and Kelvin 10%. 5 sold out already. Mm. On Bourbon Outfitter sold out already? Yeah, yeah, it's already out. Yeah, well, they did a right. 10% off sale tonight during the Junkie. Yeah, during the Bourbon oh, Junkie oh, stream, yeah. they did 10% they off. Some more. Any any four gates that you got. Wow. But that's over. That's All right. I'm go I'm going back. I'm going back to the uh 1920. It smells fantastic. Jeez. Mm. That's the one that got me into whiskey. Yeah, that's a good whiskey. If if anybody hasn't gone through the old Forester whiskey row, that's the uh what is it, the original batch, the bottom of on. 1997. Yeah. 1910 yeah. and 1920. Yeah, gosh. These are I right. haven't done the bonded. I haven't done the... Uh, oh, the bonded is fantastic. That's an underrated whiskey. I haven't done yep. the 100 proof it's, or whatever it is. It's 90% as good as the single barrel 100 proofs. Yep. 1897 is really, really good. I'd be like 1870 is not worth $45, 50 a bottle. No, that should be like a $30 bottle. Yeah, or yeah. 25 <laughs> Well, you're... what's up, Chris? Hey, Chris. Hey guys. Hey buddy, what's up? Not much. How about you? Can't hear you very well. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say it with your chest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna sip on this 1920. A tiny bit. A little bit. All right. Hold on. Say Susu Studio. Susu Studio. Oh, oh. No jacket required. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. Oh, 117 series. Yeah, those are good. Those are really good. Have you had that, Jake? I've had I've had the original 117, the very first one, when Jackie went on uh, mash and drum and went on. She went on with Jason, and it was my birthday, so Jason ended up giving me the rest of his sample for my birthday. So I had that one, and it was really really good. How about now? Better. That's better. Okay. I had to change my my mic. I just got I just got new stuff. I I connected all the new Wi-Fi stuff today. So. Uh, the dugout's looking good, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I need a room that big for my wow. whiskey. Get it all out of the boxes. Yeah, that's what that that was the plan. I told you guys the boxes would be off the floor. The only problem was yeah. the one shelf. Yeah. It started Just dipping, so, so I got a, I, I got another one. It'll be here tomorrow. Okay. Well, you support right. it with the bottles underneath. Yeah, yeah. That's how mine is. <laughs> That's how I do it too. No, no, nope. It, it was I, I only had like seven bottles on that shelf, and it 
it was starting to dip. Oh, wow. That's not good. So I waited a while and I put a support under it just to see like a metal pipe support with the end pieces. I took four of the bottles off and all of a sudden the metal support fell over because the shelf popped back up. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, well don't we're, let them we're, fall. We're going to change that one. Hey, yeah. Richie Z's here. What's up, Richie? What's up, Rich? See you, buddy. Uh, Pour the 1920 label. for your for your uh, Nike. Oh, the old label. I have one of those put away that's not open. This is the I, new label. I have the very first of the new label. Old label left, and I what cracked it Dusty Dan's for the uh, Artemis launch. I haven't I haven't cracked my Dusty Dan's yet. Just sitting. Dude, on I didn't get a chance me. to get one of those. The I Dusty Dan's. Oh, you missed yeah, out, dude. man. You missed out. Know, Hold on a second. Aren't those still available? No, they sold they finally out. Sold out? Okay. They, they put them on sale for fifty four, and oh, they were gone. Damn, like yeah, that hours. price. Yeah, 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 that price. Yeah, for an eight year Sagamore single barrel. I can tell you this: I bought mine when they dropped, and it took almost four weeks to get them. <laughs> it's like, yeah. when are they gonna send me this shit? It took them forever to send it, but I got it. Yeah, I, I, it. I just picked up two more of these. Oh, the there you go. Mm-hmm. Listen, and, uh, I like the Cedar Ridge thing. It's different. Yeah, it's I'm gonna different. Do a it's a different with, whiskey. With it's, it's, I can't compare it to anything. There's nothing that re, it reminds me of. It's kind of stands on its own. It's its own thing, yeah. which is what I'm looking for in a whiskey that I've never had. You know, I want it to taste like something I've never had. Yeah. So they did. They did a good job there for sure. Hey, we got bourbon hanging out in the background. I know. I know William Hall can probably build a hell of a what's up, Ben unit. But I can hang from these ports with my big ass and hang with my feet off the ground. <laughs> and it doesn't move. And the shelves are actually wood. They're not they're not from Ikea. They're there they're you from, go. They're from Menards. They're actually uh, there you go. To- Tommy, did you say something about me changing my shelves? Yeah, you weren't you supposed to like, you know, read yeah, it's, your it's, it's, it's all here. I just haven't done it yet. Yep. So me and Jim were talking about that Man, a couple of days ago. It, I'm probably gonna have to take <laughs> a week off to do that. So there might be a week without a stream for me to get that accomplished. Well, that's okay. We're used to that. No, 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 no. You're not. Okay. Tell me the last not, time I took a well, Tuesday off. The week. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't taken a Tuesday off in a year. Oh, that's my dog. That's right. Yeah, your dog know. is agreeing. Your with dog me. is agreeing. The medicine has worked, <laughs> Tommy. You don't know what the fuck you're saying. <laughs> I gotta look that up, Cheech. <laughs> look it up. What's up, Ben? Oh, shit. Hold on. <laughs> How much, man? What you drinking on? I am having a Still Austin cast strength Nancy Frilly. Oh, you poor oh, guy. Hey. How, how can you can find the strength to go on living? Well, I wanted to try it on a clean palate. And how is it? it? Just had the first sip. Okay. How is it? Somebody's dodging me. Oh, stop yourself. I just told you I got all new shit because my I, I died the other night on the internet stream. I don't remember which stream. Tommy D was on there. I couldn't get on. My voice wouldn't work and my internet. Oh, no. Phone. I, oh, I you lost, were all with Vic. Lost, yeah, I lost my modem. I lost my Wi-Fi router. I had to get all new stuff from the storms. Got and we got three hail storms today. <clears throat> oh, good for Whoa. you, buddy. Wow. <laughs> uh, for me, we so have got, like... You got a little zappage? We got a lot of sunshine and good weather. (laughs) Just because it's not hurricane season yet. So, yeah, I didn't get to fix my stuff till today because my dad was in the VA the last two days. So, oh no, you all right? He's all good. He's back home. They put him back together with needles in his eye and stuff. It was weird. Oh, don't say that. That's Mm. worse than Tommy and Tim talking about dogs. Yeah, Yeah, that's uh, that. That's a better reason for the the phone getting hit by lightning. I'll be back. Yeah. Uh, good, good. Be is doing better. You can do yeah, that. he's got his vision back, so that's a plus. It is. It is. Yeah, that was that was some scary times when the old man couldn't see and they thought he was having strokes. So. No, that's not good. No. Uh, yeah, that 1920 is delicious. I I have one bottle of the old label left and it's unopened and I don't want to open it, but damn, I remember it being much much better. So this is going to sound bizarre a little, but I, this is my second still Austin cast drink I've had. I had the regular. Okay. I got a sample and now the one of Nancy's. Yeah. And it's complex. It's interesting, but there's something in it I don't love. That's, te- that's Texas, Texas whiskey. Texas. 
That's Texas. No, I like Texas. I just I just bottle killed a bottle of Texas on my last stream. What I do with that bottle? I always I always feel like Texas whiskey has like a cooked, like a I say cooked whiskey kind of thing going on. I don't know what yeah, it is. This is something different. Hey, I don't even hey know Cheech, you want to see something crazy? Yes. <laughs> Three chord. What, what makes that crazy? Look at the proof, buddy. I'm soloing it right now. I can't see it. 78.92 oh. what 157.84. Get the hell out of here. Baseball. Oh, there you signed go. by Russell Martin. Bro, that, that might be the hottest whiskey I've seen. That That's, one finally came through, huh? Geez, finally bro. through. That's finally came crazy. through. Um, those, those somehow got lost in California when they were supposed to be in Arizona for like a month and a half. And they finally showed up. I had to make a lot of phone calls to Three Chord and to RNDC to track them down. Yeah. Uh, what's the source on those? Um, it is the Canadian. What okay, you didn't see Canadian. on here, what you didn't okay. see on here, this is 28 years old. And oh, geez. Wow. That one's been a long time coming. Yeah, it has. It wasn't that high when you Troy was it, right? born it yet. Even more. It, it went up <laughs> one proof. It went up one proof, man. Um, com Damn, coming nice. whiskey got a sample of it, and he posted on his page in a sample bottle, and everybody went nuts at one point. Yeah, like That's crazy. Month ago. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a yeah, bit. yeah, been a bit. yeah. That's how long it's been lost. It was lost for like two months on trucks, and it went to the wrong liquor store. It went to three wrong storage facilities. Oh yeah. goodness, it was a mess. Ah. All right, since uh, I've been in the 116 category all night, 115, 116, I'm going to open this uh, this blue run, this emerald rye. Oh, nice. Nice. That's Which a taste is, four. I was impressed by that 116. one. 116.7. I've heard great things about it, so I'm going to open it. That's what I'm going to yeah. do. Cheech, you missed November 15th, which is a Tuesday. What about November 15th? That was a you Tuesday. missed the stream on that day. Oh, okay. Oh, That's one in the How last that, what. Yeah. I no told you two year, in though. the last year. Two. You said none in the last year. No, I said two in the last year. Did you? Okay. Yes, I did. I'll find the third. Hold on. <laughs> I might have some of this then. Okay. Any Saturday. Oh, night. Natural Barrel Company. Ooh, there nice. you go. Whose pick is that? Master Journey. Master Journey. Not the let's bourbon. Not all, the bourbon, right? Well, let's solo that again. Show us that. Yeah, label, they did. Right? They did two bourbons. Do the rabbit. Oh, pulling the rabbit out of the hat. Okay. Nice. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, better than pulling a hat a uh, hat out of a rabbit. That's, That's true. It's a lot less painful. Yep. All right, I'm gonna pour some of this uh, blue run. This is the Emerald Dry. Now I've heard great things about this Emerald Dry. I I know a lot of people have some definite opinions about the blue run and say it doesn't live up to the hype. The blue runs I've had have all been pretty good. I, yeah, the, I will. I will tell you. I passed on the Emerald Rye because I had a chance to buy the Parisian Pastry. Mm -hmm. So I bought that one. And I went back the next day because it was buy one only. Yeah. At the store, and I went back to try to get the Emerald Rye, and I couldn't get it. But I got to try it, and it was. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, I've heard good things about this one, and I I tend to like their the rise. So. Right, Richie Z, yeah, Nashville Barrel Bourbon is MGP. Blue Run Emerald Rye Whiskey, 116.7 proof. Is the Nashville Barrel Company MGP juice usually? Yeah, it's 116. Usually, but not always. Not always, but usually. Yeah. Ben, who is the other one they uh, they source from? Um, They've been sourced. Well, there's a bunch of stuff from Nash. They call Nash Tucky now. Yeah. That, uh, even though they've put one or two barrels of that under Nashville. And uh, they've been <clears throat> allegedly getting barrels from places like M. Eam and, um, <laughs> and Schmuffalo Schmace. <laughs> allegedly. Right. Right. Tim, Tim did not like the emerald. These bitches. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm a, I'm a, it smells good. It's definitely got a little, uh, there's a little greenery on the nose. 
Hmm. Well, you maybe want to drink some rye, so I'm going to have rye with you. Just yeah. a little different. What's up, Z-Man? Good to see you, buddy. All right. It does. It definitely has a little bit of a, I wouldn't say grass smell, but greenery. It definitely reminds me of like fresh cut greenery of some sort. But Tim, is, is the Marrakesh market around you, buddy? I tried to find that one. He didn't like the Parisian either. I like that one. I don't know. You didn't pick these up, right, Cheech? No, I, I didn't get I didn't get either right. of those. All right. I got you. Okay. I'll, hmm. I'll add those to the list. Hey Ben. If you come here, man, and you gotta you gotta drink these. You know what these are. Well, you, I gotta talk to you. I mean, it's coming up quick. All right. Ooh. So this emerald rye, um, there's there's a, a little greenery on the nose. And it's slightly minty, just slightly minty, but not not much in the dill world. I don't know exactly what the mash bill is on this one. Aren't those uh, Castle McKee? Yeah, yeah, it's, so. that, yeah, it's yeah, Rutledge right. still. Rutledge, yeah, Jim Rutledge, Rutledge stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's um. It's it's a pleasant drink. It's a little it's a little um I want to say it's slightly minty, just slightly. A little bit spearmint maybe. But not not so it's grassy on the nose but not grassy on the palate. It's more minty on the palate. Oh, cuz it's a rye. Does uh, like, oh, what's the rye content to that one? It's it's a rye. I don't know exactly what the mash bill is on it, though. Well, at least at least fifty one percent rye. I can tell yeah. you that much. Yeah, the, the rye is prevalent. I think it's going to be pretty pretty much higher than that. I haven't had whiskey in a week, so it's. it's been one of days. <laughs> well, this is my wine? last whiskey for a week, so. Oh well. Oh, might be yeah. mine too. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, Ben, we'll see, we'll see you in about eight days, buddy. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You you got to go high. Days, I'm going to be hitting the, the the road towards the motherland. Oh really? <laughs> yeah, that's my house. <laughs> <laughs> the motherland is in in Beloit. <laughs> ben, call me. We got to catch up. Cheech, call me. We got to catch up. No, I always call you. You never call me. Bullshit. Last call, call I called you. <laughs> Maybe once. <clears throat> I don't want to interrupt your teaching. That's my biggest reason. Um, as long as it's like late afternoon, we're pretty good. That's what Fine everybody's te- fucking guessing. Like, fuck, we don't want to interrupt school time. Uh, fuck that. Call me. <laughs> if I can answer the phone, I answer the phone. Is late one Troy, time I'm going to call you tomorrow. <laughs> Early. I'm, call week. I'm not going to answer. <laughs> <laughs> is late 1 p.m. or is late 4 p.m.? Uh, usually two or after is fine. Okay, there you go. Let's see any yeah. guidelines? Yeah, two or after is fine. Like today at two o'clock, I was at the pool hanging out, oh. mm. catching some rays. Okay, so this blue run, it's. I'm not gonna say it's great because I, I I I've had some other shit tonight, so I can't say it's great, but it smells really good. Like at first it was a little grassy, but it's not grassy anymore. Cheese, did I ever send you that Barrel King rye? Mm mm. Oh, I gotta send you that shit. Here's the weird thing. I don't know. It's probably the the minty thing, but I got like this this cooling effect when I drink it. Like like it's it's actually like cools my palate off a little bit. That's pretty interesting. No, no harsh words on this. There's nothing bad about it. I'm not, I'm also not overwhelmed by it, but I've had a, some other stuff tonight. I probably need to get away from this proof point. I've been at like 116 all night. Yeah, the Shanks is pretty good at 91. I'm always blown away how much the Shanks fla- has flavor at that at that proof point. Like yeah. it's got tons of flavor at that proof point. Dude, the 2023 Maker's 10 bourbon. This oh, year. I don't have oh. it. I saw it for 500 oh, bucks two weeks ago, and I was like, I'm not paying that kind of money for that. I, I'll, I'm going to hey. send you a sample, Cheech. Okay. Hey, Cheech. Cheech. I'll compare it to the 2020. I think I've got a 2020 on that. Mm-hmm. What, what are you looking for, bud? 
What am I looking for? Well, you just said you were looking for something. I was texting. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> a Shanks what? You said Shanks, right? I have a Shanks 20, 2021, I think my Shanks is. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'd like to find that 2023 uh, 10-year Victors. They have it out here, but not for that price, bro. You're not gonna yeah. go for that price. <laughs> no. Yeah. Here, here it's, it's not about, that here bad. It's like three bills. Yeah, that's how much I got. I'd pay three for it before I pay five for it. Yeah. But would you pay three for it? I'm tempted to right yeah. now. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I've heard I've, good things. I haven't heard it. I haven't heard a shitty review from anyone. I, I haven't yet. either. And oh. people have shit all over that for years. Yeah, the the, exactly. the one I have people except shit on, the, but, I, but I got it for free, so I'm okay with it. <laughs> yeah, I had somebody tell me it was like the 2014. We all oh, know really? Goes, we all know that goes for stupid. That, yeah, right? that's legendary. Yeah, that, that's well, everything I've heard is that that's the only other one yeah. that might be better. So I'm kind of thinking I might need to bite the bullet and grab one or two. I have other things I'm willing to give up. Hey, Don Farmer's from Rockford. I know that's that's the guy whose wife was a classmate of Tommy D. Oh shit! She went to the same high school as me and Tommy D. I didn't know they had but high schools way class. back then. What's that? I didn't know they had high schools way back then. In '87, you sure did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing it because Tommy's back in the background. I haven't brought him on yet. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did you did you know our high? Our <laughs> he came high back school, just to give me the finger. <laughs> hey, Cheech, Cheech, our high school in 1987 only had like parking for horses and goats. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, actually, since Richie put my link in the chat, 700 subs today. Oh, congrats! Hey, congrats. congrats. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. I remember a time when someone was bitching about 500. 1K by 2025. You're you're close, buddy. You're closer than you ever been. Yeah. You're like neck and neck with live wire. <laughs> and Brian. <laughs> and who? Kilko. Kilko. Yeah. Brian. Well, hey, he what's up, like, sir? He has like a two year head start though. A bit late, I suppose. We're still we're still on. That, that's dude, but the one that's coming in and fucking wiping everybody's fucking Jeffrey. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be right back. Hold on. Oh, the whack? Yeah. yeah the well, whack. not Jeffrey. He's got three beautiful men. Well, I mean, yeah, I yeah. <laughs> Plus the so, content thing. Plus he's Menage putting out content. action going on. Yeah. <laughs> and he posts content like crazy. The one thing. Yep, the thing. content thing is is. No, I did post it. a strawberry biscuit tonight. Oh, okay. Popeye strawberry biscuit. Is that oh. a good thing? Don Farmer yeah. is. That's you? you it's shit. It's, you used to live down the hill from me, dude. Take it. Oh, this weekend a, I met that beautiful man. Wait, hold on. Oh, Who's yeah, that? the Jeffrey Wack picture. Oh, oh look at yeah. you. Yeah, huh? look at that. I have no so, pictures. I, I did a horrible so, job I, last year at the Bourbon Junkies meetup. I didn't get pic my so. picture taken with anybody. Well, now we got to find the nearest Popeyes. I know you occasionally like a sandwich, right? Yeah, I love sandwiches. <laughs> right now, but I'm talking about a crispy chicken sandwich. It depends. So they now have a strawberry biscuit. It's an LA. Imagine a Popeyes biscuit that's moist inside. <laughs> yeah. yeah chicken dry, Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> then basically injected with like strawberry preserves and and put an icing on top what on top it's stupid it's i i live 37 minutes from the closest to popeyes <laughs> i'm not anywhere near popeyes so that's good it's 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 dumb what is it ben i live like five minutes away <laughs> strawberry popeyes biscuit it's a moist popeyes biscuit with icing because, you know, most of the time you eat a Popeye's biscuit, you need about three gallons of water afterwards. That's sweet tea, but yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, because like, <laughs> it's like, it's the most delicious dry substance on the planet. Yes. <laughs> you mean, you mean diabetes tea? <laughs> diabetes, diabetes, yes. Diabetes. diabetes. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's just with icing and strawberry, like, 
jelly or preserves. Uh, oh, goodness. And, Gary says he has a slightly short. blurry pick with me from last year's Ports in the Park. Are you slightly blurry or is the picture? Yeah. <laughs> Probably a little of both, if I remember correctly, and I don't remember any of it. So. <laughs> I love when Gary gets a little shitty. It's great. Oh, it's a good time. It's a good time for sure. Here, here's what I can remember about last year's Pours in the Park. Uh, Detroit-style pizza every day. Every day. Every Everywhere day. we went. Everywhere we went, to Detroit-style pizza. I had one of those as, while my wife was away. Oh, did you? Over two days, but still. You can get a Detroit-style pizza? In, in yeah, they have a blackjack pizza out here, and they have a, okay. they have a Detroit-style it's we either that or Little Caesars. And Cheech, oh, well, don't Jets. They, they do have Jets out here. It's terrible. Oh God, Jets is where it's at. Not out Tommy, here. you need you, Tommy. You need to go all out right now that your wife's not there, bro. Yeah, but no, she's coming tomorrow. Watch, <laughs> exactly. You got a couple minutes left. Buddy. I, I yeah. had a, a one pound and a one and a quarter pound steak tonight for dinner. There you go. Ooh. Hey, now we know why Tommy D took that shower to get that beard perfect. <laughs> he's coming home tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Tomorrow is clean the house. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Always the last minute. Clean up. Hurry up and clean up. Mm-hmm. No, actually, I just got a vacuum. Oh, hey. And that's like I heard that's what happened here. There you go. Cooper's crap. And even more important, I got some <laughs> Sir Cud says he's 1.1 miles away from uh, Popeye's, but the chickens tend to smell like weed. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, there. Old elk, old elk. Okay. No, oh no. yeah. There you go. Oh, the junkies. Pick. Open one of those. Huh. Nice. I could do that. Should well, I do well, the seven or the nine? So the, the seven year is pretty good, but the nine I think is better. All right. All right. Mr. 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 Buddy. Which for next? Thanks for hanging out, buddy. We'll see you. Later, Mr. Jigs. Whiskey. Later, Jigs. Yep. Later. Have a good night, man. My dog just ran downstairs real quick, so I gotta go check out him. Hold on. Oh no. <laughs> Tommy D incontinence. Uh, ben, what are you opening up? <clears throat> uh, some glorious guy who just went down to check his dog sent me uh, <clears throat> some samples of old elk from some guys called the BJs. Hmm. So I'm going to try that. Uh, that stands for Bonjour. Uh, bonjour. I thought it was Bonjour Whiskey. Never mind. This is a family bonjour. channel. Never mind. Yeah, at this hour. <laughs> is that a yeah. tournament? Do you guys have Malort ornaments? It's a Malort. No. Is that a Malort ornament? It's a Malort ornament. <laughs> <Malort. laughs> uh, no. That, that, that have an the Aquaman ornament. Ornament. That's That's ornament. That was a That's fancy a no. present from Jepson's. Hmm. Right. Malortament. There you go. All right. Uh, <laughs> ben, you're in charge. All right. All right, Excuse me while I whip. Oh. <laughs> hey, Don Farmer, if you go to Cherryville Mall now, you're going to get your ass shot, from what I understand. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't even go to Cherryville Mall. Cherryville Mall, is that like Green Acres here? No, nah, man. It used, to be, it used to be the Hoppin' Mall here. in Rockford. That's where it, the people... It, it, it was a good ago place. It was a good place, but like half of it's closed now. Yeah. And like... It's it, just it, 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 was, it was cool. It was the place to hang it out. Was. It, so it was. Tommy, still, it was. I'm gonna try both. Good. Do I go seven first? I would go seven, yeah. but okay. then I would do a mix. Seven Blend. mix nine or seven nine mm-hmm. mix. Seven mm-hmm. nine and then mix them together. Okay, I can hmm. do that. Tommy D, what should I pour? Um, Jesus, I have no Damn. idea what you have. Um. <laughs> To look at the bag, bro. I know. I don't, I don't know, dude. Like, oh, no, or over four hundred bottles to pick from. Pick some. Anything, Evan Williams. Do it. Okay. Uh, you win. Sure. <laughs> Where to go, Troy? I only got one bottle of Evan Williams. Sorry. Don't call Perfect. Me. <laughs> then I get the red label. Just the yeah, one. It comes a dusty. Uh, it comes a dusty twelve. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Dude, it's all I got. It. It's oh, newer though. It's right. got. It's got the gold wax. Oh, okay. Anyway. <laughs> I have I have an open mind when I got it at uh, Whiskey Weekend. I haven't opened it yet. Uh, no. Fast Wave, I'm right there with you. Can't wait for the snowbirds to head home. Take those mm-hmm. Canadian geese with you. 
I mean, Cheech, Cheech, I heard a good fact, though. My car. I heard a good fact. Let me hear. I heard that Florida has more working people now than the state of New York. You are no longer God's waiting room. No, no, we're no longer a place for retirees. I Although that, I where, thought... where, where I live, it certainly is. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I live in the nation's oldest like, city. <laughs> yeah. Demographically. A few people have been there since the beginning. <laughs> it seems like it. <laughs> so, so when the right wife and I went to Cocoa Beach yeah. after your thing, Cheech, we yeah. were we were talking about this. It just really brought back memories of when we were like living in Hawaii. Yeah. Just with the, the climate and all that kind of stuff. And then also the the buildings, some of yep. the buildings there and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. The way the you know, designs were. It was just kind of it was cool. Yeah. It was such a laid back. Good, um, I, I, I I won't say that I live in paradise, but I live really close to paradise. Yeah. Hmm. It's not it's not far off. It's close. Hmm. That's the weeded bourbon now, Ben. Yeah. Uh, At least I hope I put about, it in the right bottle. You guys said weeded nice bourbon. Of, I'm reaching nice for the origins, one. the, the bottom of bond right now. This one? Oh shit. <laughs> this bottle got a good oh shit. Party foul. Uh, no big deal. It was just uh, while Turkey's master keeps 17 years. <laughs> I just knocked over. Dude, those have went up way in price. Yes, they have. Yeah, they have. All right. So it's going to get for decades. This is the origin of uh, the leader, the Bon I want to try it again. It's freaking delicious. I, it is. I might have a 2020 decades. But nice. Wait, Cheech, have you revisited? Because you weren't a big fan, right? I revisited it off air. And I liked it better, so I'm going to try it again right now. When we were on the back side of a stream, wasn't it, Cheech? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Surprised yeah. not a char in this one. Yeah, it smells way better. That one's oh, really good. I'm excited. We're supposed to get the the uh, rye here tomorrow. All right, thanks, Gary. Yeah, I haven't seen the rye yet. I can't wait to see the rye. That's what I'm really interested in. So. I know Tim saw it today in the Chicago okay. area, so I'm excited. Thanks, thanks, Richie, for dropping those links, buddy. Appreciate it. Richie Z is the man. Everybody give him a round of applause. That guy does a lot for the community, just like he Jim really Lowe. does. Go, Richie. Uh, and, all the time, and, he always greets me with a happy face. I, I imagine it's hard to convince me that he's actually a real person. We've never Who, seen him. Richie? Really seen him. Mm -hmm. I have I seen Richie. I've talked to him one time. Richie is real. Richie's real. She's not AI. Richie's going to make oh, it yeah, to the I'm next sure, Whiskey man. Encore meetup next spring. He'll Hell be yeah. at the next whisk, winter whiskey warm up. Wait, spring or winter? Uh, here's the thing we get an early <laughs> spring here, so we call it spring, but it's winter. If it's well, after February 2nd and the guy does, or the little muskrat does not see his shadow, it's not a muskrat. He's a groundhog and his name's Punks and Tony Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever he tastes like chicken. I don't. He care. does taste like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this origin, this is the bottle and on the weeder. It smells way better tonight. So Cheech, next time you have the meetup, you got to let me know and we can talk. Mm -hmm. I already have dates, but I'm not announcing them tonight. But I already have dates. Yeah, just before just so we can break. talk ahead of time, so I can get some things cleared and bring things. Okay. You know. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Yeah, I gotta call you anyway. Yeah, I'll yeah, we gotta talk. Yeah, and by tomorrow, I mean later today. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Okay, so I shit on the origins when I first tried it because it just didn't hit me right. But I, I had to realize that I had eaten something that was really spicy earlier in the day. Uh, tonight, it's much better. Now, do you think it's oily, like thick mouthfuls? It's still thin. No, no, no. There's, it's got much better viscosity. Tonight. Okay. Yeah, because I, I when I first drank it, I was like, this has no viscosity. But I realized that my my tongue had been coated in like fat and, and like yeah, like literally that's... heavy cream. I ate something with a heavy cream sauce, so that did not help me. No, that's not going to help at all. No. That that's kind of like the bourbon night we did his blind and <laughs> yeah, dude, the, the yeah, weirdest the thing, the thing, the weirdest thing. thing for an hour and a half, the guy had no clue what he was doing in a blind. Yeah. And when he went back and for the last, I told him retaste everything at the end. Instantly, he was telling me what everything was 100%. What did I call like three bottles in a row? He called three bottles in a row. Yeah. 
but yeah. but your first taste, you were so far off. I was just having fun going like, who are you crapping? Yeah. Okay, that, that fun. this origin bottled and bond, this weeder, this is good. Mm-hmm. I like this a lot, actually. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is my third weeder. time having it, and it seems like every time All I right. have it, I like it better. So, Hey, Cheech, all I got to say is, where's that one going to go knowing it's six years old? That's watered down to 100 proof. Mm -hmm. They got barrel picks coming out this next year that are 110.5, and I've seen 111s and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about that. Yeah, I I would say I think we got a leader we can stand behind finally. Yeah, if it it gets in that mid-teen area, that's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that tastes really good. Yeah, And and it's like old school. Yeah. It's got, yeah, it definitely has like an older yeah. flavor profile to it. Yeah, it's got those older notes that you taste on some of the dusties or some of the yeah. early weeders before weeders really took off. Yeah, this this is good. This is good. I'm actually enjoying it tonight. So, yeah, yeah. That's why I was a big proponent for you to revisit that. Yeah, yeah, I like it a lot better. My my initial impressions on this was way off compared to where it is right now. So, Tim Evans, I agree with you one hundred percent. Don't agree with Tim. I mean, I got. Uh, to. Uh, I I okay. I said don't listen to Tim. That's exactly what I was thinking while I was drinking. I'm like, this is better than Makers. Yeah. <laughs> I, I side Tim. by sided it with my Makers pick that I just yeah. finally got. Yeah. It's better than my pick. Yeah. Yeah. Which this, this, as, as a, as a weeder and finished. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is really good, actually. Yeah. I can, I can nose this for a while. The, these bottles are going to be in danger quick. <laughs> let me, let me tell you, this, if this becomes like their regular thing, which is supposed to be, it's supposed to be on the shelf. Mm hmm. Does makers end up next to it or or below it? You know, does the, is here's this a better a, question: Does antique end up next to it or below it? Well, we don't see antique around me, so it's hard to say. No, but, but I, well, the thing is, is though, if if people finally catch on to a damn good weeder, yeah. <laughs> Wait, which Dude, I, I I think it's pretty close to be in there. I'd like to see a little more proof on it. I'm not going to lie; I think yeah. it's right at 100 proof. You give me. That 104 seven proof you 107 that seven proof yeah. that 114 that well error i think we got a good battle on our hands i think we I really think we do and I, I like that older is. profile yeah i think I'm you got a battle on your that. hands as is yeah oh i agree but i think you give it a little more proof that older oh, yeah. profile is going to win out for me personally i can mm-hmm. i can see this being amazing at like 107 103, 103 to 107 yeah yeah. How about if one kits like 10 years? Yeah. Some age on it might not hurt either. <laughs> no, that smells Stop really Stop yourself, Ben. Stop yourself. We'll all be broke. Hey, if they keep it to 10 bucks a year, I'm okay with it. What yeah. What was this? $45? 45 um, to 60, depending on I think on I paid 45 yeah. for this. Yeah, 45 they, or they, 50. They were $47.99 here. I can tell you this I've stopped buying makers in general. I, I could see myself uh, liking this. I, I passed on last year's um, wood series and I did not pick up this year's either. I mean, they're all so close anymore. I didn't pick up the BRTs. I like the no. FA, the FAEO yeah. Schwartz ones, but I didn't like the BRTs. They, they, I they were different. The BRTs, but I got gifted one, so I got yeah. the other yeah. to go with it. Like the, yeah, the BRTs good. were not different enough from the stave profiles to make me yeah. excited. Well, the BRTs didn't make any sense. They were toasted barrels. Yeah. Because, well, well, one wasn't a French oak. Okay, the rye yeah, right will be as stuff. good as any Sagamore rye. Yeah. That that I'd like to see done. I I've got some Sagamore rye. I'd like to try this this uh, this hey, I H- Origins rye. I haven't did seen. You, it. Did you try Maddie's rare character rye? Yes. That is a Bardstown rye. Okay. Okay. He's the only one that got one of those. Yeah. The rest yeah. of those are. You want to talk about right. something that's getting some tater hype? Rare character is starting to blow up. Yeah, oh. yeah, it is. There, there's a huge group on Facebook that I got oh, to when it. Yeah, I know you're in there. 
but I'm dude, in there, but like people are just like going crazy for it. Oh, I'm like, it's I'm wacky. Like, like I got chill. in there at the beginning when people were going in and buying in, like Cheech one store in Nashville, Red Dog. You heard of yeah. Red Dog? Yeah, Red Dog. Yeah. Um, they had three picks there. Everybody went in on those. The one guy went in there and bought like 44 cases. Oh, geez. Of, wow. Of different rare character picks to ship out to people or hand deliver. Sorry. Yeah. But I was I was sitting there going. It's five to six year old MGP or wilderness trail. Uh, Tim, you're right. That's very good, bro. <laughs> They're very so real good. They are. Like I got like I think nine, up to nine now. Oh, uh, rare Chris, characters. Actually, I gotta talk to you about rare characters. They're they're good at the right price, Vic, but I've been seeing right. someone creep into the ninety nine dollar to one hundred yeah, ten. Yeah, no. uh, Troy's got larceny. Yeah. <laughs> when I got mine, they were fifty to sixty. Yeah, I'll pay that. Yeah, I'll pay that. I'll, my God, oh. my all the ones I got. Is that a one twenty three? Max? No, it's like a nine five two. Okay, was a okay. Good price on it's forty nine ninety nine. That's a good price Beautiful. on that. Jeez, bro. Buddha. Good for you. That's not coming off either. So, <laughs> my local still has B five twenty two on the shelf, and they said they won't bring out the C batch until the B's gone. I'm That's like, dumb. What? That's dumb. There's places here that still have C920 on the shelf. Of Baller the larceny? larceny? And 60 bucks. Larceny? Yeah, yeah, it doesn't sell here. 60 yeah. to 70 bucks. I think larceny kind of hit it in the uh, the B521. That's when they kind of hit their stride. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying they still they don't sell. There's yeah. B521, B5, they're all sitting on the shelf. I thought B521 was one of the best whiskeys I had in 21. Has anybody tried that uh, Bernheim barrel proof? No, I haven't, no, I haven't got it. No, not not a fan. Okay, no, really? you don't like it. It's one eighteen proof, but it's like flat. Like you get hands down, I'll go better for a Larson barrel yeah. proof mm -hmm. than that. I, so think, I, think, Lar I think Larceny right? has hit their stride, though. I think they're, yeah, they're, they're, they're those Larceny barrel proofs are pretty good right now. Yeah, this one smells great. Since since middle last year, so the five twenty one, the nine twenty one, and then the A one twenty two were all really good. Um, yeah. I just I got the A one twenty three. I liked it. I have to go revisit that. All right, I need another suggestion. These bitches. Um, we're gonna go <laughs> eight. The King of Kentucky. <laughs> These bitches. No King in Kentucky here, Tommy. <laughs> I mean, it's been in the dugout, but it's not here. What's right the matter, Troy? <laughs> I don't like inhaling 126 proof whiskey. You got any Wyoming whiskey? Any what? Wyoming? Corn whiskey is generally kind of one dimensional. It is. It's sweet, you know. I want to try some 20 year old. You got any Rebel picks? Lux Rail Rebel? I have one. I have. Too many. It's, is it the All or is it the hey, hey, Don, I am looking for oh, that wait. origin rye. If you've got a lead on it, just send me one. Hit an NBC, bro. <laughs> just send me one. <laughs> Either that or a bullet. A bullet pick. Oh, uh, I, I like that. I'm bullet. out of bullet picks. We haven't seen a bullet pick here since COVID. Oh, wow. Hey, Chris, have you seen this bullet? Yes, they're on our shelves. Okay, so, so Richie sent good? me this for my birthday. This thing is fantastic. Yeah. That's from their old blender before they kind of had their falling out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One and done kind of thing. This is really well, good. Would though. you would you say it's a fifty dollar hitter? Yes. Okay, I'll pick yeah. one up. Yeah, I, know I would a say place fifty that bucks. Has like three of them. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, give me one. Tim. Yeah, I'll pick it up. In July. Yeah, Tim. I'll give you that. All right, Tommy. Nine time. <laughs> nine time. Nine time. Nine time. Well, you should have poured them together and done the. I only got one. Gary says oh, find 104 oh. proof anything. All right, Blake, which untitled, buddy? You get to pick. You said untitled. I, I, saw, right I saw that untitled. What, what's an untitled? It's a it, company out of Washington, D.C. that originally sourced. They're also called District Made. So yeah. District Made 1-8. 
That's not that's not the um hey Sean's here. He said get yourself a Bourbon heritage. United, is it? Little little Parker's heritage, Chris. I got that too, but Blake called it out before him, man. Yeah. Chris, yeah. batch eleven, bro. Batch eleven untitled. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm in. I'm in. All right. <laughs> I'll go grab mine. There you go. There you go. All right, I want to see the bottle because it's isn't that done by like Bourbon United or no. Bourbon? No. No, no, that's not. See, no, it's a bottle. very plainish, squared yeah. off bottle that just I says love it. Untitled. It's it's so boring. Oh, yeah. I've never seen that. Chicago yeah, area Chicago in Washington D.C. DC. That's it. That's yeah, it. Chicago or D.C. That's it. These guys were doing finishes like cigar blend before cigar blend. Yeah, I, I've been looking for one of those for a while. Yeah. Like this one's finished in a combination of cognac, Ruby Port, Pedro Jimenez Sherry, and Oloroso Sherry. Uh, Don, just reach out to me at whiskeyoncourt gmail.com. And it's also 14 year MGP. Oh, geez. 14 year old MGP. Why did I just get a little chubby? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this one's 100 proof, but still, dude, it. It yeah. drink it drinks above its belt. Yeah, it. you're you're saying the right words. Keep going. Yeah, I got single barrels from them as well, from 13 to 15 years. Amazing. I bet. Unfortunately, they're getting really expensive now. And I only got one. I only got a share of a bottle of one 14 year. That is the worst barrel they ever had. Yeah, you got the rubber one. I got the rubber one. Hmm. You got the it rubber. It's horrible. Uh, that there you go. Blake, Blake just told you, go to Chris's, and he'll take you to grab a bunch of them, Ben. I I'm can do like, that. I'm, I sent you something. You did. You don't look. Uh, dude, my phone is on bedtime at 9.15. <laughs> it is. Your your phone is set to do not disturb. Uh, 9.15 yeah, at night it goes to that. Sorry. You Chris has notification that silence. That that's what it says on my end. <laughs> and that and that's a trip, Chris. That this is only hundred proof. I know, no dude, title. and it does. It drinks higher than hundred proof, but yeah. it doesn't have the heat. You know what I mean? It's it's got the complexity way over hundred proof. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Still got thirty five people hanging out. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Cheers, you degenerates. I what wouldn't say they're degenerates. I would well, say they're I'm a whis- whiskey connoisseurs. <laughs> I'm a degenerate whiskey connoisseur. Yeah, me too. All the above. <laughs> All the above. Damn it. Oh, I'm in the top row. Drink. Watch out. Oh, this smells so good. <laughs> right. Thanks, Ben. That's great. <clears throat> Dear Lord. <laughs> oh, goodness. So how do you like him, Ben? Hey, you know what it was like your first days with the soundboard? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> How do you like those old elves? Hey, Ben, ben. Which, which soundboard do you get? <laughs> uh, I'm actually... Just hit them all. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Just hit them all. Um, actually, I just built out voice meter. Oh, uh, okay. Nice. For now, to see how it all works out, you know? <clears throat> nice. Nothing wrong with that. Almost, almost an easier, better deal. Chris, you don't think of something like a low cigar blend? Oh, dude, I, I, I think it is all day. Um, yeah. Like when you get to 13 and 17, I think mm-hmm. they're rivals of some of the cigar blends that I have. They're in the 40 to 70 range all day. Um, I, I've been a big fan of Untitled. Like if you go way back to like my, my early days or, you know. I, I pimp out Untitled. I love the shit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a big yeah. Fan. You're you were the one that told me about this. That's why I picked oh, that's that one. yeah. Um, you know, and every time I find a single yeah. barrel, honestly, of the older stuff, yeah. I, I try to pick those up all the time, man. But it's getting hard because guys are trying to charge four fifty and five fifty for them. I'm in the uh, 116 proof category for some reason tonight. So. <laughs> I was like, what else do I have that's around 116? It's this barrel batch 33 bourbons. So. That's a great batch, though. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Yep. So I like I personally like that one more than the vantage. Yes. Well, I, I haven't I don't own a vantage. I had a sample of it. 
I, I, I don't know it. either. I got to sample both of them yeah. twice, and I, I picked the 33 both times. I can tell you, uh, I'm going to go ahead and thank Bourbon Kingdom. Nice. They're, they're the guys that turn me Dude, on. To those this guys one. rock, man. They do. So that's where I'm at. I got to get in Zach's ear, man. We used to yeah, exactly. I mean, I haven't talked to him in like a month now. It's mm-hmm. kind of weird. Yep. Yeah, this 33, this batch for 33 bourbon is really good. Like, like I think Nick, it's my favorite. Uh, it's actually my favorite barrel product. So I got a question for Vic. Vic, when you have this one, is it almost yeah. like, um, you know, when they pour like the brown butter glaze over just a yellow cake, you get that on the finish? I get, I get, I get where you're going with that. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Richie. It's, yeah. it's Bur- not like Bourbon every Kingdom sip, but sure. every every couple of sips, I get that note on the finish. Yeah. I'm like, oh. Mm, I love these. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm pretty sure this Bachelor 33 is my favorite uh, barrel product. Hey, Sean Lincecum, why don't I have that Eagle Rare pick, buddy? I love the Grape Fanta. Mm. Yeah, I need I need more info on that, Sean. I have quite a few Eagle Rare picks right now. I think I got like nine of them currently. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. I, I, for some reason, I run across Eagle Rare picks all the time. I don't like, see any. We used to see them all the time. Cheech, I haven't yeah. seen one in the Illinois area for two years. Oh wow. Northern wow. northern Wisconsin got I've got last year. I've gotten three this year. Oh dude. Yeah. Yeah. Really yeah, they're, they're I mean, I mean, if you can ever get them, yeah, you can ever say, get them, let me know. Bucks here now. Yeah, 60, 70 bucks for me. No, I'm down. I mean, I mean, around here, secondary yeah. is 90 to 100. Yeah, I was I gonna wanna... say a lot of people pay up upwards of a hundred of those. If you can get them in the sixty or seventy range, they're usually pretty pretty rare. Oh yeah, worth it. Yeah, we used to see them here marked up at like fifty to sixty bucks. Yeah. I, I was okay with that. <clears throat> Listen, if I see a regular eagle rare around me, it's forty bucks, maybe fifty. Oh man! So we to pay still... ten dollars more for a premium for a single barrel, I'll, I'll yeah. pay the ten dollars extra. We we still yeah. see the uh, unicorn twenty six ninety nine. Oh yeah. Wow, oh, Jesus! Yeah. Like that, yeah. But when they hit the floor, they're gone in like five minutes. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a blink, <laughs> is what that is. Listen, eagle rare picks. If you if you find any Sean, eagle rare, Sean, pick, I would have bought them all at that price. I was, gonna say, I was gonna say any eagle rare pick at seventy or under, buy it. Yeah, might it might seem a little little high, but you're not gonna see those very often. So no, let's not talk eagle rare picks. <laughs> Why not, Tommy? Oh, yeah. Those? Come on, Tommy. Where's your Eagle Rare? Tommy doesn't like to I want to see the dent, bro. I want to see the dent <laughs> on that bitch. Does Tommy not like Eagle Rare weekend. picks? Oh, when, when did I buy Holy this? Shit. <laughs> when, I bought this, what? I don't know. Friday? Friday? Oh, that oh, that oh geez. Good for you, buddy. <laughs> I'm proud of you. You can tell his wife's out of town. Yeah. It's fucking good. Yeah, I don't That's know how to, I don't know how to describe it. I mean, no. I've heard about Eagle Rare picks and never really. Um, I think you did when you them. said it's F and G. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I, I have an Eagle Rare pick. I've been drinking on it. I swear to God, if you didn't know it was Eagle Rare, you'd swear it was an E.H. Taylor. It drinks mm-hmm. like an E.H. Taylor small batch. It drinks like it's a hundred proof. It's ninety proof, but it still drinks like it's a hundred proof. Yeah, that's that's that ten year oak, buddy. Yeah, that that oak helps for sure. Tommy, did you go right. get back up to that? Tommy, doing the blend? No, I I, I was going to, and I just Tommy. I thought to myself, I can't do that. I got to stop. I got to slow down. All right, Tommy, I did the blend. Mm. Buy a case next time, buddy. Go. Well, it was kind of so. This was so that's allocated, right? So they put it out in there. They do allocated once a month in the store, and it was Friday right before I went up to Stall's house. So I didn't, I didn't go out and look at. 
picks are not allocated. Yeah, this one was. They put it out. Yeah, in Colorado they, they are. They, they yeah. made it. <laughs> I, I asked about the JD10 and the JD12 if that was coming, and it's supposed to be on the shelf. Oh, no, it's allocated. So it'll probably be out at the end of April. They're here, 250 350 a bottle. Yeah. For, for um, the 12-year? Yeah. For the 10 and the 12, That's yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I'd pay that for the 12. You'd pay three anyway, so, for a 12? No, I paid, I paid yeah, 250 okay. or 300 for a 12. No, no. That's when I found out that the for 10, 350 for 12. No, I paid 80 bucks for my 10. Yeah, not doing it. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah, I paid MSRP for my 10, not yeah. the new one, the no, first one. First, yeah. Sir, 10. Well, what I've been hearing is that fucking the second 10 is way better than the first. Oh, that's what I hear too. When I don't like the 10, I don't like it. Where, where's my I, homie Lince to come? I, I didn't like the 10 at first, but I like it a lot now. Like halfway through the model, I really like oh, it. There you go. There we go. Just, for, the 12. just for you, Sean. Just for at, you. At, at first, I thought the JD 10 year was very tannic and, and, and unremarkable, oh, but now I love it. No, the bitterness went away. Oh, oh dude, I love that JD 10. I think it's really yeah. good. I yeah. think it's underrated. A lot of people uh, Ricky, I think the OESO is one of my favorite of the recipes of the Four Roses. Sean, never had an OES, you, bro. Oh, I, yeah, I would try Sean. It. I would try it for sure. Sean, you can't throw that shit out there like just like that, bro. I'm I'm three batches away from the Rose Garden, bro. <laughs> Which batches do you need? OBSO and let me see. I either need the S or the Just text it to me. <laughs> Cause I I completed the garden. Oh, did you? Good for you, Ooh, buddy. I need, I need both of these. Just send it to me. Yeah. Okay. So I could see what I have extras of. I, right. I think I have eight of the ten. So yeah, I got extras. I, I got extras of a I bunch of them, the but like one. And I didn't even know it was the tenth one, so I sat down and I just made the list. I'm like, let me see what I still need, and I'm like, oh, oh shit, the one I got that day was the last one I needed. Good for you, man. Good for you. I'll be right back. Yeah. And you know, I'm that's another thing I haven't seen in a while is the uh, barrel proof four roses single barrels. They that's kind of hit cool. all at one time usually. Yeah. Well, we don't. We only get distributor picks here now. Yeah. All right, sent, brother. Are the distributor Do picks always like OBSK? Ben. Benny, yeah. is that Yeah, you, I think so. That's usually what Hey, Chris, what are you pouring? Is it a Parker's Wait, Heritage? Right. Yeah, I poured the Parker's Double Barreled. How Where is are that? you oh, getting oh, these, these great <laughs> bottles from? Where have you gotten these great bottles from? <laughs> it's probably the stupidest good bottle I've had. Like, I'm, <clears throat> I love Parker's. I love the the VHR rye and the single malt rye. Right, but but where in that area are you getting these great bottles? Are you getting them from somewhere else? Chicago. No, you know what I mean? th this one, this one, I found on I I got on the shelf. I walked in when they put it up. Where? Wow. <laughs> At the Woody. Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's still it cost me out the door like two fourteen ninety seven or some shit, but yeah. But MSRP is one ninety nine. So yeah, yeah. Like There's nothing wrong with retail. that price. I paid retail. I mean, I piece. see them all day. I get, I can go to like three different stores right now for seven hundred bucks a piece. Yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> Tom, Tommy, Tommy, I had a dude in front of me. I never expected to buy a bottle like two weeks ago. In front of me, he had he had Franzia wine, like the box oh, of shit. his cart, and he had some rack packs of High Life. Didn't expect him to know anything about bourbon. Like I was ready to do my happy dance, just because the Heaven Hill Twenty Year was sitting on the shelf. Oh, jeez. Oh, at Woody's. What? And he's like, he's like, oh yeah, give me that Heaven Hill Twenty. I heard that's a killer bottle. I'm like, that thing was for sale in the parking lot. <laughs> yep. <laughs> wow. I'm like, that yep. son of a bitch just bought. You're not wrong, Dylan. Bought, bought eight freaking little. You know, square boxes of Franzi and two rack Wait, packs of highlight. For sale in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> paid for his Franzi. Oh, dude, I thought I was so lucky. I, I thought I scored. Like, you, usually when I walk in, I'm not going to lie. In that store last year, I ended up with two lot Bs, two RVWs, amongst other things. Hmm. Right place, right time. Yep. 
Yeah. I mean, my my friends, I took I took them there with me. They walked out with B tax both times I took them. I mean, Cheer, cheers, Chris. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the B tax. But cheers to you, Tommy. <laughs> Dude, Nobody. I share with you. I mean, come on. You know, you're invited to the dugout. You're in town when you come in town. Let's go. Go, Tommy, go. July. Okay. Let me know. I'll fly up. Yeah, come on out. Dude, come on out right before we go to Porce in the Park. and we'll have Oh, we should concert. do that. Maybe the week before. Yeah. I'll be up with my brothers before that. Yeah, they're right around the corner from each other. Yeah, because I, I will be Not there. that and, far. I will be there. And right now, right now, we're we're finishing logistics for me to be there as Sporgate. So, okay, cool. I mean, <laughs> I've already got my tickets. We're, we're coming. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, you know I, mean, I mean, me, me, me and Dan are working that out. So, I mean, I got to the point where Jen's like, we're going like, I know she's like, that's our one trip a year. That hey, we're Gary going and to. Blake. I love okay. both of you. Stop that. I did. I have. I have no B tax in my house, and you know that. My friends got those, and honestly, I saw them there, and I let them get them. I was trying to be the good friend, you know. You they've you never are, got those are. kind of things. They've never had like a big unicorn bottle. I love how Gary I've got unicorn bottle jumped in immediately. You know? But I, I let the mics get unicorn bottles and hey go. man, I've go. got other unicorns. I'm good. I have an eight year old daughter. She's got a lot of unicorns. Yeah, she does. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I've got a I'll, ten year old daughter right and she you. does too as well, for sure. I've got a twenty seven year old. She still has unicorns, so yeah. Sorry, Tommy. Hey, I'm hey, forty four years old and, and I have Cheech, unicorns too. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> tell you this Parker's double barreled sixteen year. Is it 16? It's 13 and 16, right? 13 and 15. Yeah. Is as good as any GTS I've ever had. So it's worth the 700 bucks locally? <laughs> I no. think that's a hell of a lot better price than I see GTS for. That's true. That's yeah, true. true. On that level? Hell yeah. I know well, I can still get those. Damn four. it, Richie. Not find a way to go there, Richie. Can we get Richie to, to pour us in the park? Can we sponsor Richie to go there? I'll chip R in. Richie, I'll how mean, can we get you there? I'll, I'll throw I know a there. guy I'll, that knows a guy that kidnaps guys I'll that can probably get him there. I'll throw in Right, on but have you not seen Kill Bill? Richie Richie can do some damage. <laughs> <laughs> I love the David Carradine I, reference. I, I like, That's awesome. Oh, dude, I, I like Gary's comment. My 27-year-old has drank plenty of unicorns. <laughs> yes, she has. God hold bless on. her. Hold yes, she has. How many times on. has she had celebrations? We're going to bring somebody on. We're going to say she worked for Victor's or uh, she worked okay. for Old Forster. I forgot. We got Toast Malone in the house. What's up, Sean? <laughs> wow, that <laughs> a shirt. What's up, Toast Malone? <laughs> I love that guy. I, this is, I actually, I wore this because of Ben, man. I, I saw his uh, Popeye's review earlier and I was like, damn, dude. Like, what, what kind of shirt could I put on that I, that I could get a compliment from Ben? It's very, it's very Polynesian. Well, the hey, other thing hey and happy late birthday, birthday to your daughter. Free. Thank you. Very Thank you, for under your neck. Good one, Cheech. Do you, do you see that? There's one particular leaf there, this blue one that's kind of phallic. Oh, uh, Richie, down. thanks, buddy. Yeah, that one. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> is, he, is he wearing a tablecloth? <laughs> yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> oh, is your husband there? <laughs> oh, shit. Give me a, a gold chain. I'll fit, I'll fit it. You know what I mean? Oh, goodness. No, okay. Well, what since Chris is drinking some of that double barrel, I will go ahead and share a Parker's with him. There you go. Oh, that a boy. Jar, that's boy. the one, bro. Oh, this, this thing. I know. You told me I got to add to my Parker's collection. It hurts, but I'll do it. Yeah. That's uh, this 11 There's years. ways to do it, you know, Chris. Hey, Sean. Without you know. Yeah, I just found uh, that. I know, out a, guy, I know a guy and I'll here. be able to talk to that guy next Two week. Two weekends ago, home. Stahl paid 90 bucks for an ounce and a half pour. It, it's amazing what a little info uh, can do. Of this one? Yeah. Oh my God, Tommy D. We were at, we were at the, D, uh, the poor, Stanley poor Hotel. That here is $20. Huh? Oh, shit. Yeah, it was 90 there. $20 here. Yeah, but where do you have it? At the fucking... Uh, at the Stanley Hotel. At the Stanley oh, Hotel, yeah. Well, there yeah. you go. 
And in comedy, it's it's called the Shining Hotel. This has stomped out any WLW samples that I've ever tried. Attaboy, Troy. My man, <laughs> <laughs> fucking boogie nights over here. No. Troy, fuck? looking good, buddy. Looking hey, good. Go it's get pretty money. strong here in Washington hey, State. Don't we don't vibrant it's colors. Sparkles. Oh goodness! <laughs> don't make me put on the sparkles. I, I'm not gonna run upstairs and wake my wife up to put on one of my multiple floral shirts. See what I started, on. Teach? I, I just, you know, I start with a simple. I feel shirt. like I need to leave and change my shirt. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go get my sparkling speedos. Yeah. Oh god, I, I, I love this. I love all you I guys. Oh, my god. Hey, I looked fabulous. Yes, you did. You did. You did. You look great. I did. That, that was that was a good shit, talk. I, did great. I look great. Hey Gary, that's fantastic. Oh. I'm I'm gonna admit I'm a little jealous of what Rory gets to taste. Mm-hmm. Hey, did you guys see fucking Matt's thumbnail for next for Friday? Unbelievable! <laughs> what? Yeah. No. DC did some that guy. work. Yes, he did. Puppy. Yeah. Now that T Rob's gone, he comes up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That made me sad. My, my dog ran downstairs to go to bed. So smart dog. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the live stream. Oh no! Yeah, yeah we're gonna shut it down. Oh no, Mister Bill! We're breaking out Hawaiian shirts and dogs. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. It's it's digressing. And before Cheech <laughs> shuts it off, we got to do something real baller, you know. What do you got there, buddy? <laughs> Heaven Hill seventeen. 17. Oh, Heaven Hill seventeen you. bottle chug. Jeez. No. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, he he did that shit on my stream already. Oh goodness, <laughs> dude! The, the trigger finger of Vic is <laughs> out of there. All right, everybody, we're gonna go ahead and shut down the live stream. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you guys next week for another Cheers, week of the encore. Cheers, cheers everybody. Great to see everyone. you, everyone. Oh. All right, cheers, everybody. We'll see you guys in a in a week. Have a cheers. good night. Till next everybody. week, boys. Yeah, till next week. Cheers, everyone.